Gangsta Green. Green. Hope you stop you. This is your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And this is motherfucking Drink Chat Podcast. Make some noise! <laughs> and right now we have the king oh, shit. of independent. Ooh. Yes. The king of consistency. Mm. The king of longevity. Yeah. The the head front of strange music. Yes, sir. Has so many artists. The guy tours like a wrestler as well. <laughs> He's on tour like Hulk Hogan and rocking them. Yes, Damn. sir. Yes, sir. He's out there, been doing it for years and upon years, upon years, and he's here in the motherfucking happy hour with the drink champs. Let's make some noise. Tech nine. Tech nine. What's up, brother? What's Tech up, Nine, how you doing, brother? I'm good, brother. How good you to doing, see brother? You, man. Now pop that bottle. We, we, we oh, feel yeah, like yeah, you're a yeah, rose yeah. guy. I fucks with the rose. Now, what do you want to do? Do you want to sh- sh- um, let's finish the uh, Moet first, and then we go on to the other roses, <laughs> or mean, do you want to mix it up in between? I just mix it up, man. I just okay. do what comes natural. You know what okay. I'm saying? So, I, it so, don't matter to me. So let's let's take it from the beginning. Yeah. How did you get started? Because I heard you were signing Quincy Jones and all type of shit. Yeah, before that, I was a dancer, though. You know what I'm saying? I was a yeah, dancer. Yeah, take it all the way back. Mm. Yeah, I was a break dancer. You know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. I was you, a B-boy, man. You used to I'm come still out with the cardboard? Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. The cardboard? The, gar- the cardboard, then the linoleum. You mm. know what I'm sizzling? I done mm. busted my head on concrete. He's still dancing you know what I'm saying? his shows. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. So from, from, mm-hmm. from rhythm came rhyme. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Right. That's why when you see you come to my shows, you see me like, bah, bah, right. bah. you know what I'm saying? I can't, yeah. I can't, it's in my bones, blood, you know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, I started that, mm. and from there, I wrote my first rhyme in 85. Mm. That's how long I've been in it. Mm. 85. I yeah, was born 85. in 77. Yeah, I was born, get, get I was born in 71. Too, I was born in 71. Oh, 71. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, go ahead, yeah, continue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, I started doing it professionally uh, in like 90. Mm. You know what I mean? And uh, I knew I had something special, man. I was always a different type of motherfucker. You know what I mean? Even right. my, my niggas in the hood, like, what's wrong with this nigga? I love him, but he's crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? And right. we made that shit work. You know what I'm saying? So what uh, was your first professional record like that, that came out to hip hop? Salute. You got your drink, EFN? I got Salute. it. Salute. My your first, first professional, professional record. record. Yeah. Salute, right. man. Uh, I think it might have been. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it might have been gang related soundtrack uh, mm. uh, questions mm. on Tupac's uh, mm-hmm. last screen performance. You wow. know what I'm saying? Gang related was his last one. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. yeah, I don't know yeah. Why yeah. I throw it's just the order one. that he was filming on that mm. that they, they yeah, came yeah. out. That was okay. his last screen performance. Yeah, okay. '98. You know what I'm sizzling, and uh, everybody thought I was on death row because I was mm-hmm. the only dude on the. Uh, Soundtrack mm-hmm. um, that wasn't. You, you had know, moved uh, to LA at that point, though. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I was living right. in LA in '97 with uh, Quincy Jones and shit like that, right. doing music with QD3. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just Which trying to Quincy build. Son. How'd you mm-hmm. even like? How did that 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 that? So happen? crazy to me, man. Because right. uh, I didn't think Quincy would like that ghetto shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And the song that caught his uh, attention was a song I did in Kansas City uh, in 96 called Mitch Bade. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Bitch Made backwards. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, Mitch Made. Uh, Mitch Bade. Mitch Bade. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that's yeah, Mitch Bade. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's yeah, all. Yeah, that's yeah, all. Yeah. Let's make some noise for that, goddamn. Yeah. God damn, let's make some noise for that. Yeah. That's hard. Continue, continue. So, uh-huh. that got to Quincy somehow through some chick out in L.A., you know, that right. used to do music, do business with uh, QD3. And, had you um, been to L.A. at this time? Uh, yeah, my first Okay. Deal in eight, uh, was in like uh, '93 with uh, Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Oh you know wow! I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. God, that's so that's true. True. Continue, continue the Trichy story. Yeah, 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 back yeah. to Jimmy Jam. Yeah, yeah I would go back to that. You right. know, because you know they did they did um, Janet Jackson's music, and of then course. I signed with Quincy. He does Michael Jackson's music. Mm-hmm. I've been like in the little Jackson circle. You know, wow. What I'm wow. They, they saw something special. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. <clears throat> but with a lot of these record deals I had, you know what I mean? When I was with Quincy in '97, Quest and Warner. Mm-hmm. Uh, nobody knew what to do with a dude with red spiked hair and um, painted face and come out with a bishop's robe. You know what I'm saying? Right, Where right, you gonna put right. that nigga at? Right, you know what right, right, right. So a lot of that shit didn't work, and they didn't know where to put my music. Was it rock? You know what I'm saying? Is it hip hop? Right. Is, is it jazz? Is, is everything? You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. they didn't know where to put me. Mm-hmm. So after '99, um, signing with Interscope uh, and J Core. You know, they fucked us over royally, so after that, man, it was like time to show the motherfuckers how to market this type of dude. So you know that's what the independent grind came yes. from. So a lot of from, people don't from know. From being because, with the majors first. Like in the, 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 um, 
uh, in the industry, when your name comes up, everybody always associates you with independent immediately. Oh yeah. So let's let's talk about the like the beginning parts of when yeah. you was on these record labels. Yeah, being being with major, my first major deal was in '93 with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, and that mm-hmm. didn't work. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, it, it wasn't them. Did you it was get to just, meet Janet Jackson? Yes, I went to the I went to the Velvet. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's get yeah, something. Yeah, Let's get straight yeah, to the Jimmy Jackson story. What happened when you met Penny, my nigga? Oh man, it was oh, cool. Hey. I, she, she, she invited us to uh, her Velvet Rope uh, release party mm. in L.A. Man, on the mm. Sony uh, lot, and Michael Mike mm. Mike Tyson was there. You know, mm. saying Seal was there. Mm. Everybody. You know, saying mm. Brownstone was still right. popping. You know what I mean? She, she, she smelled me- like cocoa butter and Hennessy. <laughs> <laughs> she smelled like. Incense like Erica Badu and potpourri. Yes, and potpourri. Let's make some noise. Yes, yes, really good. <laughs> not from Pier One. She got that uh, high class Pier One. But how was it meeting her? Like, cause, oh, was you a fan of her? Like, oh me? yes, yeah, cause, oh you know, yes, I'm, I'm, man. I'm a penny. Who wasn't a fan of her? I'm a penny guy. Like, yeah. from, from good times. Yeah, God she, damn it. So she, she, she gave me a handshake hug. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, it was oh, like it was that. Handshake, was like, oh, handshake oh, first and pull it in. Like, boom. How you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, holy shit, that's Danny Jackson. I never got to meet Jack. Yeah, I never got to meet Michael though. Yeah, I never got to meet Michael. Yeah, yeah. I never um, met Pac. Yeah, I met Pac on a, uh, a few uh, occasions. How about Big? You met Big? Uh, I met Big in Kansas City backstage. Well, he not Kansas City, Kansas City, Kansas. He played at uh, Memorial Hall or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the name of the place over there in mm-hmm. KCK when Juicy first came out. You right. know what I'm saying? Just okay, talking about the first record, Juicy. Yeah, Juicy, yeah, 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 yeah. But okay, uh, okay but let's take it back, right? All right. Um, to, Cause see, like I said, everybody always refers to you as the king of independent. Like, I want to talk you to, to to why you became independent. Yeah, so that. like, let, let's, let's speak about those. those we those were in days. the midst of it when we were talking about my my yep. major deals. My first one with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis in '93 that didn't work. Mm-hmm. Uh, '97 with uh, Quincy Jones, Quincy Jones. <laughs> that didn't work. '98 <clears throat> with Interscope and uh, J Core. You know what I'm saying? After that is when I came back to Kansas City. But, but <laughs> was there something specific that wasn't working with the majors? Like something that they were doing wrong or the, the, the yeah. Yeah, are being picked or- I needed complete autonomy. I couldn't have nobody telling me what the fuck I couldn't say or do. Right. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And they wanted me to copy shit. Now, when you was on these labels, uh-huh. were you throwing out projects or these projects never came out? No, 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 no. I was recording like a motherfucker. Okay, you know what I'm saying? We were they- recording songs and they wanted to, they wanted to, like, for instance, um, the people that Quincy Jones had working for him, I had this song called Dun 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 Tech Nine, uh, 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 Planet Rock 2K. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, um, uh, they wanted me to do something for, I think it was uh, a Shaq movie called Steel. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They wanted me to do some. They wanted me to do some poppy kind of music, mm-hmm. and I'm like, no, I want to use Planet Rock. So we would fight back and forth. Mm-hmm. They wanted me mm-hmm. to do the poppy shit, mm-hmm. and I didn't want to do poppy shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't gonna do the poppy shit. You know right. what I'm saying? They were sending me beats that were <laughs> not me. You know what I mean? Yeah, From right. producers I didn't know. You right. know what I'm saying? So when so, they signed you, they thought they were gonna completely change you. After oh, totally, that? totally, totally, totally. Oh, I mean, wow. that's that's what that's what I felt like. Right, right. You know what I mean? They, because they seen you already when yeah. they when they acquired you, yeah. got you on the label. Yeah, they already knew what you. The big, the big heads heard me right. and signed right. me, just like uh, Jimmy Jim and Terry Lewis, just like Quincy Jones. The big heads heard me, but it's they people that didn't really know what to do with Tech right. Nine. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're staff. Wow. So um, we had to fight a lot. You know what I mean? And I couldn't do that no more, man. You know what I mean? They they didn't know where to put me, and I knew I had something special. So right. I had to show them when I met my partner Travis um, right. what strange music is. And since we've been doing that for 18 years. Years now, um, we've we've uh, acquired the title as the number one independent yeah. label. Let's make some noise for that, my yeah. Music, motherfuckers, continue. Yeah. And we're still going. You Big know up Mayday, too. They got a show tonight. Oh, man. Yeah. Mayday. And an album. Certain party. And an album. Oh, okay. Years ago, when I was uh, doing a show in Orlando, mm-hmm. um, I saw these guys on stage who were opening. Right. And uh, I remember one of my colleagues telling me, you have to check out the opening act. It's Mayday. You know what I'm right. saying? So I watched this. I watched the. I watched their show, and you know they had this dude named Noms that came out popping. You know I'm a b boy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's killing shit. Right. He's way better than I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like right. this motherfucker is hardcore. Uh-huh. So I got to listening to the music. Like damn, you know what I'm saying? It was mm-hmm. so good that I asked for one of their records, and they signed it for me. I still have it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? They were so good. So I called mm-hmm. Travis. Like we have to get these dudes. And I heard through the grapevine that Wayne was looking at them, and right. they, you know they did some kind of thing on a the T-Pain roof of Wayne. T-Pain yeah, yeah. I wow. said They're gonna go We gotta hurry up And get these guys mm-hmm. And we were lucky enough You're to, smoking right? 
No, I'm cool. I'm okay. cool. Thank Shout out to Dave. Yeah, yeah. It looked like he was oh, yeah, almost yeah. going to take it. Yeah, yeah. I had to try. Yeah, I had to try. Okay, I'm sorry. Get yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. But we were lucky enough to have Mayday on Strange Music, man. And uh, when other people were trying to snatch him, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And rightly so, because it's fucking hardcore. Oh, uh, yeah. Big you know up Mayday saying? once again. Yeah, so yeah, now yeah. listen. Now, you being independent, what was the moment? Because just being independent, I've been independent, uh-huh. and it's hard as oh, shit. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. It's, oh, yes. It's he like, hates being independent. Oh, I hate oh, yeah. it. Oh, I hate it. Well, like, this is the thing. This is the thing. Um, my partner, Travis, was already a millionaire. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And uh, when he, when I had a meeting with him after I did this, uh, <clears throat> this fashion show that he was... Um, Funding, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? These these cl- this clothing line called Paradise Originals, right. and I had that song. Dun, 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 right. and blew up in Kansas City, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I had a few songs blowing up, you know what I'm saying? Let's get fucked up and Mitch Bade, all that shit was popping on the right. radio at home. So <clears throat> when I had my meeting with Travis, he's like, "Hey man, I've been following your music for a long time, you know, right. and um, I just wonder why you're not bigger than you are. You know, you better than a lot of people I see on TV, TV and radio." I said, hey, man, it takes a lot. He said, well, check, I have a lot. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he said, what do you think about doing a joint venture, man? Me and you, 50-50. Um, strength, uh, like, he didn't say strange music because I had it in my head. Right. He was like, a record label, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I know exactly what I want to call it. Right. I want to call it strange music because I'm a Doors fan, you know what I'm saying? Right. Strange days, people are strange, you know what I mean? And um, <clears throat> I said, I want it to be a snake. I want the snake to be the S... And the wings. Oh, that's an SM. Yeah, man. I yeah, never yeah, 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 yeah. It ain't say no masochism. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't beat, beat bitches up or nothing when I'm having sex. You know what I'm saying? The snake is the S, and the bat wings are the M. Strange mm. music. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And what happened was he got some artists together to get that out of my head onto everything you can imagine. Like. What? panties and mm-hmm. belts and uh, oh. car decals you know what I'm saying everything mm-hmm. hats shirts now it's on people's skin for life you know what I mean that really believe in the movement right. strange you know what I mean how long before y'all got together did it take for that to really start to pick up did well, y'all have to go through I'm sure it's Oh, trials and tribulations before you found well, you know the the mechanisms that were working for in you guys. order in order to get me free of everything I was binded to from the other deals. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like Quincy Jones. Right. You know, that's Quest and Warner. Right. You know what I mean? Quincy Warner. Sway, Sway, Sway and King Tech. Mm. You know what you, I'm saying? Were they, they manage you or they Yeah, were, they were managing me. You know what I'm saying? So hold on. Sway uh-huh. for, 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 for the youngins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Sway, Sway in the morning. We used to be yeah, the Sway in the show. morning show. The yeah. wake up show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sway in the morning show. That's my brother. I still doing the morning show on Shade 45. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's big up Sway Callaway all day. Yeah. Swain King Tech saw a lot in Tech Nine way back. You know what I mean? And he was on the anthem. The yeah, I was on the anthem in '99. Yeah. You know what I'm saying with Eminem, Eminem and uh, a bunch uh, of like RZA. RZA yeah. You know, and Coogee right. Rap Pharaoh was on Monch. it. Right. Pharaoh Monch, you wow. know what I'm saying? Wow. Cino XL, yeah. right. J.O. Felony, mm. KRS One was on it, my mm. nigga. You know what that I'm saying? Like, mm. like they did a lot for me, man. So they wanted me to um, push Q aside. And let them take over You know what I'm saying I can't do that man You know what I'm saying Quincy You know what I'm saying QD3 You know what I'm saying He's my boy You know We was doing this I can't do that Who wanted you to push Quincy aside Well it was, You know it was, You know Sway was like Man, man, man. Oh, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> oh okay You know This is a long time ago right, right. No I'm problem. sure it's cool now You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying yeah, You know what I'm saying With them But mm-hmm. they wanted me to Get everybody out of the way And I brought Travis in And they was like What's up Jack What are you doing I'm like This dude right. Came in like Hey right. He, he want to start a label and I'm like I gotta do something man you know what right. I'm saying and they was like they told Travis you know it's gonna take a lot of money and Travis was like shit I'm right. about to clean all this shit up so we cleaned so he right. cleaned all that shit up right. you Travis know what I'm saying did. yeah yeah yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So you need to get and you it, out the contract all yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, yeah and see I wouldn't sign to Sway and King Tech but we were just a partnership you okay. know what I'm saying so yeah so right. it was nothing you know what I'm saying they wanted to help you know what I mean right. so it wasn't nothing like I had to get off of what they had me on you mm. know what I'm saying it was just a mm. we were partners so um, that was easy that wasn't nothing you know what I mean and me and Sway remained cool and Tech King Tech whenever he wanted anything I'm on the I'm on the most recent uh, right. wake up show anthem them as well the mm. last one they did you know what I'm saying so mm. we're all still connected right. but Travis had to do a lot of cleaning mm. to get me free because everybody was connected to me you know what I mean I had a lot of people connected to Tech 9 so was that running through your mind was there any worries because like at the end of the day you got a guy you know big up the Travis who's mm-hmm. coming in taking it out for you and mm-hmm. then you know yeah. maybe these the projects didn't work 
over there. Did you ever at one point doubt yourself and think it was you? No, nah, I didn't know. I, I didn't think it was me. I okay. just think it was me saying yes too much to too mm. many people. Prior you know what I'm saying? To yeah, you going yeah, 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 yeah. Just me saying yes, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, you know? Right. Um, but um, I knew that we'd get through all that shit, you know what I'm saying? For a minute there, you know what I'm saying? Like in the late 90s, uh, Jay Prince, rap a lot, was trying to get me out of oh, sure. Warner, you know what I'm saying? Out of Warner. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know yeah, how Jay Prince did yeah. it. Yeah, he yeah. said, he like, Tech, uh, we're going to take care of that. That's going right. to be taken care of. You're going right. to get, we going to make sure you off that and we dang, going to be no problems. I don't, right. I don't know what ended up happening, but it didn't happen, you know? Right, 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 right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's a lot of people trying to help me, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. A lot of people believed in me, right. you know what I'm saying? Now, now you're coming from Kansas City, correct? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Kansas City, like, how did you, like, Missouri even, did yeah, like, like um, how did you, like, because, you know, us. Yeah, because the yeah. opportunity is none when it comes to the record business there, mm. you know what I'm saying? Why, why do you think we have to start our own label, you know right. what I'm saying? Right. We don't have Sony Midwest, we don't have mm. wow. Def Jam Midwest, and, 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 you know and, what I'm saying? Back then, yeah. like, I don't even think they were calling it Midwest. Nah. Like, back then, I think they were just saying, <laughs> over there. Like, <laughs> like, like for real. Nah, like, Kansas, town was St. Saying, Louis. They, they, they were saying, it was like, like, there's no make, place like home, they would make uh, Wizard of Oz jokes and yeah, shit to yeah, me. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, yeah we, we, we kick up dust in that motherfucker. But this is what I'm trying to ask you is, like, you know, being from Kansas City, like this is this is not known for being hip hop. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I'm talking about from I mean, you look at a, a Miami perspective, a New York yeah, perspective, yeah, yeah, a LA yeah. perspective. It, it wasn't televised. It wasn't, it wasn't televised. televised. You so know what, what I'm saying? What made you say I'm gonna stick with this and I'm not gonna give up? Because I'm hearing your story right now. Uh-huh. Sounds there's like there's plenty of, of people that, that would have said, said yeah. Yeah. "I'm done." Like yeah. I, I it's, was it's with Quincy Jones. Went, I was with yeah. These other guys. I forgot their names. Fuck that. The time, the age. Some people just give up because of age or whatever. You know. So what made you stick with it like, Nah what man it? I, I, I had obligations My nigga I had kids You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying I couldn't quit You know what I'm saying I didn't want to quit I still mm-hmm. don't want to quit right. You know what I'm saying I, I'm still getting better and better right. You know Tour what I'm saying ever, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 The people they, they still They still want Tech 9 You know what I mean And mm-hmm. I give it to them As hard as I can dude You know what I'm saying It's like right. Being from Kansas City like I said, the opportunity was like none when it came to music. So it's like we had to build it, you know what mm. I mean? But don't get it fucked up. A lot of artists in Kansas City been working for a long time. Been a mm. lot of rappers, a lot of singers, you know what I'm saying? Just a lot of talent. Right. And we got a lot of them with us as well, you right. know what I mean? And there's a lot up. more new ones that we're trying to work with too, man. It's like right. it's it's a hub for music. Right. It just hasn't been televised. People right. don't know about it, you know what I'm saying? We right. we we saw we saw Nas grow you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? We saw mm-hmm. Will Smith grow from rapping to a mm-hmm. mega star. Like Same thing. We right. we watched J Lo rise from mm-hmm. being a dancer yeah, on yeah. Living being Color to girl, yeah. being the, being the master of her own universe. You know what I mean? Right. But see, the Tech Nine story still being written. All that shit. They're gonna have to go back to it. You know what I mean? And that's what the fans do when they find the new song. Like the new fans, they find like Fragile or mm-hmm. uh, and. Word up for me yeah, for giving yeah, me yeah. that big ass song, Kendrick, Lamar, Kendrick yeah. Lamar and Kendall Morgan. When they when they hear Fragile or they hear, um, wasn't so you go- one of Kendrick Lamar's first features? And like, first like, tours with Strange. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, first yeah. time Kendrick Lamar ever toured was with Strange Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him like, and J Rock, man. Yeah. How, how did that happen? It's- we signed J Rock. We got J Rock off of uh, Warner. Wow. They had him sitting. They had him sitting and for a long TD's time. That was TDE's first artist. Was it J Rock? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's yes. what I heard. I heard that um, J Rock was TDE's first yeah. artist. Yeah, yeah. And a I heard bag of yeah, 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 Let me see that, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's how you come to a po- that's how you come to a podcast. It's, it's called Happy Hour, goddamn it. Yeah, you, know it is, yeah, you know what I mean? I might I got, have to hit one of these. Yeah, with you, yeah, you, you, take, you have your own. You got your own too. Yeah. You can put it out, or you know, you can have a couple if you want. You know what I mean? This is how you come come to the joint because I got a flight later. Yeah. To New York So um, Whoa oh, I thought I didn't pop it I was like Oh this thing about to pop on me Hold on uh, this, Now this is the um, Perjual um, Perjure Okay <laughs> Perjure Let me see yeah, This is the Perjure Now Hope just This nigga's for drinking that what? But Mikey Fresh from Vibe was my witness. We Peri- went in the Perjure 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 I'm dyslexic Jure. He just said Perri- You dudes Jure. drinking Perjure Y'all yeah, ain't listen to Hov yet or something. Yeah. What did he say? <laughs> Come on, who's a 444 four, four fan? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said, Drain. 
Because you ain't. ain't. Perrier's you ain't. Y'all ain't learned from me or listen yeah, to me yeah, yet. Because he's saying we shouldn't be drinking that because it's white companies. But oh, we here. shouldn't be drinking. I want to taste it. <laughs> we got to taste it. We got to taste it. We he said we shouldn't drink this. Whole. Well, how does he know about it if he don't drink it? Because this is the shit. <laughs> you said, you said, we sh- he, said, he said we shouldn't drink it. He said, yeah, because we supposed to be drinking his shit, the Ace of shit. Oh, yeah, the Ace of Spades shit. Oh. We, we gonna get into that. I drink Ace of Spades. Yeah, we got, it's expensive. I just, I just made. Uh, oh, my shit, I don't know what that is. What happened? Hold on. Yeah. What's that white shit? Come on, it look like it look like, it look like a little sperm. <laughs> what? Look, the whole sperm. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I went too far. I don't know where I went with that one. I'm Pere sorry. Jouet ain't I'm fucking so, with the Moet. Pere Jouet. This it, is Pere Jouet. It ain't fucking with the Moet. Uh, nah, I don't, I don't think so. It's um, not. Let's see. I mean, let's as see. far as the taste. Let's have the taste. Let's turn to a champagne camera. tasting yeah. party. That's Pere Jouet. It's you light. Know, you know what this reminds me of? What? France. France? Like when I, t- I taste a baguette. A baguette. Oh, okay. <laughs> what is that? A boogie baguette? A baguette. A baguette. Yeah. A baguette. You don't know what a baguette is? <laughs> bread, bread. Yeah, I know what a baguette is. <laughs> you know what I'm doing next time I go to France? I'm going to take, take the bike and I'm just buy mad yeah. bread. I'm not going to eat it. Yeah. I'm going to just have the this mad bread. Have the look? Yeah, exactly. Have the look. And, yeah, so look. and I'm going to get the Pepe Le Pew hat. <laughs> <laughs> the Pepe Le Pew, baby. You got yeah. the mustache. You oh, I got to do that? Yeah, yeah. Do I got a twist? Do it, do it. I got a twist. twist. I'm going to twist it. I've been, I've been to Paris a couple times, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love that place. What, what, what's your most like bugged out place? You ever performed that you was like, wow? Denmark, um, uh, Copenhagen, Copenhagen, Copenhagen. I loved it. At Roskilde Fest, mm. sixty thousand people came to the show. My mm. nigga, never seen that many people. Just you, or does you on a it tour? Was, I was, I was. It was not just me. It was mm. another artist there by the mm. name of LOC that's pretty big. Wow. And we were going on on his stage, and it was. It was mm. And when we came back mm. after that. It was 20,000 people to come see us the next time. Wow. One of the big ass tents they be having over there. Mm -hmm. And um, I just never saw such love, you know what I'm saying, Um, back then. You know what I mean? It was just so many people with Tech Nine banners and flags mm-hmm. and shit, and I'm like, I didn't think it was gonna be 200 people out there. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I walked out on stage like Jesus Christ, and then after the show, they took us to this place mm-hmm. called Christiania, mm-hmm. Pusher Street. It's like the cops can't come in. What? They selling dope, all what? kind of crack. They selling everything. Motherfuckers mm-hmm. are smoking in the park, mm-hmm. and it's like we stay there. You can just go in there inside this place and walk in people's houses, and everybody's like, come on. In, you know what I'm saying? So crazy. Everybody smoking. It was beautiful. You know what I'm saying? We was there in the nighttime too, and they saying it was dangerous. Wait, wait, wait! I've been to this place. Hold on, Christiane. Um, um, it's a park. Like yes, you go yes, in, yes, and yes, it's yes. like painting and yes, all this. Yes, yes, I'm yes, listening yes. to you say this, mm-hmm. I, but I've been in the daytime. I wasn't as tough as you. We went in the daytime. Okay, stay till night. Stay till night. Okay, yeah. It definitely yeah. looks creepy at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I, like as I was walking out, because we were like, you said it's Denmark. Yeah, Denmark, Denmark Copenhagen. Copenhagen. Yeah, but it's, it's like it's like you could smoke all over. It's like yes. everybody they got they got different stands and shit. Yes. You walk in and Christiania. you're right. It's not, I'm saying when he's saying this, like, yo, police. I know you had to be. A, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's crazy. I've been yeah. there. That's so that was that was on. that was the craziest back then. But uh-huh. what's back then? Like how long was this? Um, shit, I don't know, my niggas. Like uh, ten years ago. Uh, no, I didn't. maybe like eight years ago, something like that. I don't know. Long enough. But, but I'm gonna ask you a crazy place in America. But um. Did you did did you ever think that your music would 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 would, would reach that far like in Europe and all these places? I always knew. I keep on saying this. I always knew I had something special, mm-hmm. and I knew I was writing my music to travel. You know what I'm saying? Um, I remember I said on the Wake Up Show, Swan Tech heard me flow and it's sealed. Now I got Swedish woman yelling Tech Nines Vilda. You know, mm. saying Vilda is like wild mm. over there. You know what I'm saying? And I ended up going to Sweden. You know what I'm saying? I ended up having a lot of fans in Sweden. Right. So I always knew that I wanted to travel. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when they asked Jim Carrey, was he like super surprised when he got that 25 million to be the Joker or whatever, you know, sort of the Riddler. Mm-hmm. And uh, he said, no, I've been planning this my whole life. Why? And that's what I've been doing. I've been planning this my right. whole life. Motherfucking right. Let's make some yeah, noise yeah, for that. Yeah. God damn it. Right. Now let me ask you a question. Me as a person that, uh, for my own career, uh, when things uh, got a little sour for me, like in America, I would spend so much time in Europe. Oh yeah, they appreciate music, uh, the, the hip hop culture, that was my exact question. a lot more. Do you think? I know that, they do. That that Europe actually, that pulse of hip hop might be beating a little bit harder. In Europe, for it years, actually be, yeah, for, for years, years. Right? it took the tour from us. Describe for years. that to the people. I don't understand why that would be because you know, uh, well, this is this is my theory on it. You know, 
once something happens so much, like like Tech Nine, for instance, or Eminem. Motherfucker swear Eminem ain't the same or he ain't rapping the same when he's still rapping niggas' heads off. Right. You know what I'm saying? People get used to it, like, oh I expect that of Tech Nine. Oh, I expect right. him to kill shit. And right. it's not not a wow anymore because right. they've had it for so long. Right. That's what I think it is with hip hop over right. here. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah, everybody's used to it. Yeah, they used to Almost it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dope, yeah. it's dope, it's dope, yeah. it's whatever. For granted. Yeah, yeah. But over there, it's like holy shit. Yeah, I see when you I go out there, I do shows, up people be out there. Break dancing, they oh, be man. writing graffiti right outside. They'll do a piece for you right there man, as you walking in. I done seen MOP do Annie, Annie Up in Zurich, Switzerland, mm. dude. And Switzerland, the shit is my wild shit. as a motherfucker. It's a Dominican restaurant in, oh, in Switzerland, by the way. I love it. Oh, it's man. one of my favorite Dominican restaurants in the world. I'm sorry. Hip hop is alive can't, can't. in Zurich. Tell them MOP you know in Zurich. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and yeah. Nas. You no, know no, what I'm no. saying? But tell them, tell them what, what, the MOP story. What, what happened oh, when you saw Oh, it? man. It's like we were staying at the same hotel, man. Uh-huh. And uh, um, they just had a. They just, I don't know. I shouldn't say this, but they had like a, a trail of fucking women following them everywhere. Everywhere they went, dude. MOP I was like, damn, damn, we sitting over at the bar, like, look at these niggas. You know? yeah, MOP is a little motherfucker over here. They uh-huh. got bitches coming out everywhere, you know? Right. And brother. you seen them same bitches backstage when we about to go on. Right. Like, oh, that's the same 10 bitches, you know what I'm saying? Let's make some noise from 10 bitches, goddamn yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goddamn yeah. it. This is, this is just for my eyes right, You know what I'm saying right, right. No, Ain't nobody else looking Everybody right, looking right, right. Right. It's Like hell yeah They got bitches You know what I'm saying mm-hmm. And you know they didn't, they didn't give a fuck The bitches didn't give a fuck About us They just right. wanted to hang With MOP You know wow, what I'm saying wow. Big up MOP yeah. man. We need y'all on here Yeah So yeah. now then we got. I want to get into Your gigolo is, what is, is, Did I say it right Juggalo? Juggalo. 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 I was like, damn. I'm dyslexic. I was like, Juggalo. I was like, this nigga's about to ask me about the bitches. No, 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 no. Juggalo's ICP. And his technicians is Tech Nines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we've all been connected. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what I heard is that, is that, somewhere I heard that, that's how you got your love for the road. Like, you know, going on on, on the road with them. Is that correct? Or I'm I'm hearing pieces of the story? No, no, no. You correct. Early on. Um, 2003, I think I went on a tour with them. They called me to do a tour called the Wicked Wonka Tour. Wow. I had some tours before that. You know right. what I'm saying? I had the um, Angelic Tour and the, uh, the Absolute Power Tour. And you that know was on my own? Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Strange music, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We had a couple of tours. I don't know if it was called Angelic. I'm thinking it was called like Strictly Strange or, or maybe, mm-hmm. maybe, it, maybe it was Strictly Strange. Right, I forgot right. what the fuck it was. It's been so long ago. Right. But then I did the Sprite Liquid Mix Tour. Mm. With Jay Z and 311 and uh, make some noise for you. I've never been on a Sprite tour in my life. God damn it! You know what I'm saying? I just counted all that money up right yeah, there in my head. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. N.E.R.D. was on that. That's how mm-hmm. I met Pharrell. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? On that tour. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? The Sprite Liquid Mix tour. Mm-hmm. And I think that was like 2002, maybe? Wow. I think. You know what I mean? Wow. Um, Nappy Roots was on it. Talib Kweli. Mm-hmm. Kanye was with Talib Kweli. You know what I'm right. saying? It was a beautiful tour. Right. After that, we were called to do the Wicked Wonka tour, and mm-hmm. it opened... The juggalos up to me that ICP started. In St. Cloud, yeah, in St. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now I got some white in my motherfucking cup, dude. What oh. the fuck is that, dude? What uh-huh. the fuck? It looked like like donut like uh, glaze or something. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know. Is it? Oh, it's EFN or it's, it's EFN's beard. Either or. What the fuck is that, dude? Either or. I had to wash two of these out. What the fuck y'all washing these cups with, my nigga? Let's big up Blackbird right now. I'm Shout out Jerry. Jerry, what up? Jerry Wonder. You know what I mean? Jerry Wonder. <laughs> but it's at the bottom of all of the film. is at the yeah, bottom of the, all you know, this, this shit. This is dude. a real club, man. This is a real club. Like, this is where we started from. This is what we you know drinking what I mean? But look, but look, look. Do remember. That roof out there is $2 million. Let's mm. make some noise for that. Guy. Oh, yeah. That wasn't here the last time I was no, here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. the first night. They might not wash glasses good, there. but yeah. the roof is on fire. <laughs> Let's make some noise for Blackbird. Right there. <laughs> but so, so, now, that's crazy because Insane Clown Posse. Oh, yeah, just, yeah. Just mashing those two up. Like... Did you, did you When I went on that first tour yeah, man, exactly. You know what I'm saying Wicked Wonka tour Did you have a relationship With them before uh-uh. so, no, no. I think, you, uh, And I where think they from They from Detroit yeah. Okay you know They had the beef with Eminem Yeah they had the beef yeah. with Eminem Oh I didn't know that yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Eminem used to open his tour with Oh yeah I don't Glow up dolls yeah, and shit dolls. Yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Nah. But uh <laughs> When I went on that tour, the first day, man, we were in Columbia. No, 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 we was in Cleveland, Ohio. Mm. 
I had never seen that show. And me and Travis sat on the side of the stage like, what the fuck? And niggas right. was throwing pop and it was hitting bitches in the eye and they, didn't, they was loving when it. you it say pop, Fago. 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 soda? Fago, yeah. yeah. Oh. They shake it yeah, up and I've been to this crazy. Yeah, soda? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Yo, yeah. They throw soda? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they throw everything. We yeah. get super throwing like the water. Gallery of the jungle. Oh, dude. I'm talking about, I'm talking you know about but they always had a hard time getting shows in certain places because of it. Oh, The venues used to have to put up like plastic bags over all they shit when wow. they came. You know, it was that serious. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And I thought that was amazing, man. You know yeah, what I mean? I thought that was amazing. So we learned a lot on that tour. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and that's when the bond happened with the Juggalos. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. since then, uh-huh. um, shit's went on right. to where the guys thought when I was doing on Ebro and uh, Ooh, Peter yes. Rosenberg uh-huh. Said something. They Ebron. asked me about something about you know you and ICP are like the same. I'm like, nah, we're not the same. We're different, but we're connected. You know, right. sizzling and the leaders of the ICP movement. These felt are the rappers. Like I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay. They felt like I didn't say enough mm. about the Juggalos. Like, oh, like I, I just said, like fuck y'all, and I never would. You know right. what I'm saying? Because. Tech Nine belongs to everybody, you know what I'm saying? It started with the gangsters, and then the school kids, then the college kids, then the right. metalheads, and all that right. kind of shit, and then the juggalos, you know what I'm sizzling? Right. In Kansas City, so um, I never counted them out right. because they helped build Tech Nine right. with all the other people that helped build all, all the technicians at the beginning, you know what I'm sizzling? Right. They helped they're build part Tech of Nine. The story. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, they're part of the story, but they were claiming me whole. You know what I'm saying? Tech Nine is ours. Right. And they mad at me because they love me. Oh, you know what I'm this. saying? Like they felt like that when they if 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 your leader says Tech's not showing enough love, everybody's gonna say fuck Tech Nine and it turned right. against me. Oh, wow. And uh, you know, I got like a few death threats lately, you know what I'm no, saying? Get the yeah, fuck yeah, out of yeah. From Juggalos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was on the last tour, you know what I'm saying? So we didn't do the the recent ju- uh, gathering of the Juggalos. And we usually do it year after year, you know what I'm saying? I even cut my price down to do it because I love doing that for them motherfuckers, you know? So because of the death threats and all that kind of shit, um, I didn't do it. And they they mad. They like, oh, he can do these fucking festivals, but won't fucking come to the gathering. You supposed to be a blood and you scared of juggalos. Nah, it's not about being scared. It's about being aware. Mm. I know what happened to Dimebag Daryl and why, you know what I'm saying, in Columbus, Ohio, you know what I'm saying, at that bullshit-ass venue, Ala Rosa Villa, you know what I'm saying. Right. But you cannot discount fanatic motherfuckers. Yeah, like, you're not talking about them, you're talking about their fans. Yeah, like people who might yeah, get, get it yeah, 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 yeah. Like, they don't understand business You know what I'm saying, motherfuckers... Like, motherfuckers will say that about people they think are punks. Right. Like, fuck that nigga, I ain't tripping on him. He's a bitch. And then get right. getting smoked by that bitch. Right. You can't discount nobody, so we didn't. Mm. We didn't do it. Mm. You know mm. what I'm saying? And there's kind of been a wedge because of it and because of my fame, my new fans. When you're doing this shit for so long, like I do, right. you be in it long enough to become the enemy. You know what I'm saying? To the hero... Somehow becomes the enemy somehow, you know what I'm saying? After so yeah. you can keep winning. Yeah, that's a good yeah, yeah. yeah. You know because, what I'm saying? Because so, in at all horror flicks, the hero has a downfall. Yeah. So if you don't have a downfall, they they want to create your yeah, downfall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 a lot of them like fuck it, we ain't buying no more records. We and I, and I was like, well, if you feel like that, then you do that. You know what I'm sizzling, right. but never have I done anything wrong or said anything wrong, even on the song when I had to address it. Right. You know what I mean? I just told the truth. You know and what you, I mean? And you said it started from what? Like, uh, what? what was the miscommunication with the ICP? What you mean? Um, you said it was the miscommunication. Because on, on an interview. Oh, on the interview. Yeah, yeah. Bro, oh, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. yeah. the thing about it is. Just differentiated right. and, and, th- and this is what I got to say about that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't think Ebro, Ebro got love for me, mm-hmm. but I don't think he's really up on my music like that. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? I think. Oh, your movement? Or just the music? The music, you know what okay. I'm saying? He just, I think he, because once before he say, you, your style is like Dub C, and I'm like, no, it's not like <laughs> Dub C, you know what I'm saying? Dub C is my nigga, but no. Yeah, we might have the same, chop like you know that. what I'm saying? We, we, we might have the same chin hair, but that's about it. <laughs> and I had to take that from Ebro, and I'm like, because I got love for him, I'm mm-hmm. like, this nigga compared to me to one more motherfucker. Mm-hmm. So, 
when I went in, <laughs> because I'm Tech Nine, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, if you hear, if you hear, uh, like, maybe he hears some kind of connection, like, right. Connect gang, connect gang, bing, bing, bang, or right, something. Right. I don't know. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. I don't do that. That's right. Dub C. I wouldn't take that from Dub C. You know right. what I'm saying? There's only I love one Dub C. There's only one Tech Nine. Yes, sir. You know right. what I'm saying? So when he said that to me, I was kind of like, you know, you can't say that to a rapper. You know right. what I'm saying? Nah, he, yeah, yeah. You, you sound yeah. like a Dub C. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You got your style from Dub C, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, uh, yeah, I love Dub C in the Mad right. Circle, yes. Right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm Tech Nine. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that was the first time he said something. Next time I came back, he compared me to ICP. Now, when I was going in there, I told my people, I said, I love you, bro, but if this nigga can compare me to one more motherfucker, I'm going to let him have it. So when he said, when Peter first kicked it off, Mm -hmm. Peter said, your shit is like... ICP meets on. I'm I like he would know better. He, he should know. I think. No, I think he knows, Peter, he knows, Peter, Peter knows. Peter, 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 Peter knows. Yeah, he knows. Like, but he's, he knows more about Ritz. He's more of a Ritz fan. Oh, okay. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when Peter said it, I did like this, and then Ebro continued with it. So the ICP shit. You know what I'm saying? Tell us yeah. about that. I'm like. Yeah. I was pissed like a mother, like, oh, you motherfuckers, you going to compare me to another motherfucker, <laughs> right, bro. Right, I am tech right. nine, nigga. Nobody raps right, like me. Right, right, right. Nobody. Right, right, right. But I don't think they know that. Right, right, right. I don't think they listen to Fragile. Mm. They listen to Fragile. Right. Some of the people appointed to give an opinion right. can never do get it. I want you to come on the gobble Jimmy. <laughs> nah, that sound like Dub C, my nigga? Right, right, right. What the fuck are you talking about? Right, right, right. Go crazy? Sounds like Dub C? What the fuck are you talking about, E, bro? Right, right, right. And I'm going to have to see him after this. And yeah, I don't yeah. give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's real. Those I was, I was, I was, Really beside myself when they because of the Dub C shit. Right. The time before in New mm. York, and then when I came back, then they compared me to another motherfucker. Mm. So I was like, I know exactly. So the Juggalos took as that as fuck y'all. Yeah. When it was really I was tripping with these niggas. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? They didn't know. I'm right. a nice guy, man. I'm a nice right. guy. But all you, you know saying is just something different from like. Yeah, come on. Ain't you nobody know, like you. Know another, what I'm saying? Uh, like, like you know, I'm, I'm on the incline, my nigga. You can't mm-hmm. just say that. Uh, I'm other motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, the, the niggas don't rap like me. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Twister raps fast, fucking right. um, Bone Thugs rap fast, and the Crucial Conflict, and Ludacris, and Eminem, and all that, but right. none of them sound like me, my nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's all we have in common. Like, niggas right. are digga, 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 you know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's all we have in common. No, <laughs> nobody <laughs> has their face painted but right. ICP. You know what I'm right. saying? That's, that's a comparison, but I've been the killer clown since fucking 94, right. right. before I knew who they were. You know what I'm saying? I had to explain that to to the mm-hmm. boss, to the right. Juggalo boss, like my nigga, I've got to give you a Tech Nine lesson. Don't go on fucking. Oh, why? Wow. He tried to check you. Up. He tried to. No, they went on Hot Nine Seven. Like Tech Nine, that's what started no the whole way. shit. Hey, no. You think yeah. it's just the face paint that oh, so they're wait, putting wait, you in that on. same boat just because of that? That's what I think. Peter and Eve were doing. They, they, they responded to that. To that. To what? that. Your interview on there. So yeah, so yeah, they yeah. came on. Yeah, I, oh, I yeah. Never, I, put yeah, me on. Now I'm getting a lesson. Yeah. Put me on. And I, my my brother Chris Calico is showing me on the on the last tour, and I'm looking at. Like, they saying all the wrong things, like, what? yeah, like we took shit from them and all that kind of shit, and I'm like, and a nigga that tries his best to do his own thing, and motherfuckers are pointing the finger like you bit something. Are you fucking crazy, my nigga? Why? Are you fucking crazy? Yeah, we seen you fucking uh, merch on your tour, and we like, damn, we gotta step our game up. That's okay. Hard. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. They said I wouldn't paint my face until I got on their tour. I'm like, no, my nigga. I was painting it in 94. Wow. I met you motherfuckers in 2003. Fuck that. Wow. I was mad, but I was I kept my cool. All right. Because motherfuckers always want to point the finger at you like you did something. You wow. be the hero, all this. And after all that time, if if I wasn't in the game this long, motherfuckers would not be able to say, I don't like the new shit. The old shit is the best. All right, all you know right, what I'm right, saying? They always do that. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? We, we probably the, on, on the only act at doing fucking records from the 90s for our fans. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what I'm saying? I go to Drake's show. I don't hear, I just want to be successful. <laughs> right, they got me yeah. on the nigga. I don't hear right. that shit. That's yeah, real. They doing That's they real. new shit. That's you real. know what I'm saying? Yeah, we go back, nigga, yeah. for the right. new fans and the old fans, my nigga. Right. You know That's what I'm saying? We've been in this motherfucker. Nigga, 1985, my nigga. All right. So, when somebody points the finger at you and you be like, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. So, I wasn't tripping with the Juggalos. Mm-hmm. They was just mad that I didn't say more because I was already tripping that these niggas right. compared me to somebody else. Understandable. Yeah. As an artist, I understand yeah. that. But I had never knew none of this. Word, this, this is, is brand crazy. new, my nigga. Yeah. yeah it's brand is, new. This, this is crazy. This but is can, brand new. Can you explain for people who are listening to us or watching us why you started to paint your face? It was a myth. 
in Kansas City when we were kids that it was a thing called the killer clown that drove a yellow van that kidnapped kids and they would disappear. Uh, Scared the fuck out of us crazy uh, in grade school. Uh, it lasted all the way through high school, my nigga. Uh, the the uh, legend of the killer clown, nigga. Uh, when I started getting into rap, <clears throat> I wanted that mystique because bitches like, oh, Aaron is so cute and he's trying to rap. I said, I'm gonna cover my face up with these bitches, let you hear what I'm saying. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm. I fucked my hair up and I had curly, mm. curly hair. I had the box with the Kwame motherfucking streak, and everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All that shit, I just fucked up and like, like, okay, y'all looking at how I look, bitch. Uh. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm busted. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that was my whole thing. You know, saying become the killer clown. I'm, right. I'm, you know, I'm Michael Myers lyrically. You know what I'm saying? And uh. all that shit came together in '94. My best friend Brian Dennis, rest his soul, he got killed back in God 2007. Bless. Um, he painted my face in '94. Oh, it was his idea? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. Out the blue. And I was like, because he knew about my killer clown. I had a song called Killer Clown and all mm. that kind of shit. And I became the killer clown. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The so you were man. rapping before you were. Painting your face, or yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. and then yeah, he yeah, started. Yeah. He started. Yeah, painting. yeah. My, my first rhyme was in '85. You know, so right, he painted right. my face in '94. Okay. You know, what I'm saying mm. I was Take Nine was starting. Right, right. You right. know, what I'm saying it was up and running. You know, what I'm saying I had my first deal in '93. All that kind of shit. So are you like dedicating it to him now by still doing it? Oh yes, right. yes, yes. It was always a dedication to Brian Bezel Dennis, man. You know, what I'm mm -hmm. saying yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and mm -hmm. um, and um, it's like. Motherfucker saying that you took it from somebody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, you took it like you got you got your idea from somebody else. Mm -hmm. That's 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 fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And that's what that's what um, Peter Rosenberg and um, Ebro started, mm -hmm. and it started a lot of shit with me and ICP. Wow, they because probably don't even know. They probably just getting, you know. Talking about ICP or Ebro? Right? No, I'm talking about Ebro. Yeah, yeah. I'm, nah, I'm talking they, about they probably didn't even know. This probably how they gonna find out. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you think you'll be able to mend it with ICP at some point? We did mend it. Oh, you already did? Yeah, we did oh, okay. mend it. You know what I'm saying? It's like we was mending about it. You know what I'm saying? I called niggas. When but niggas say something, but still the juggle is right still to mad. Them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. They, they, they wanted me at the gathering. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand. Like, oh, but he'll do these fucking EDM fests, but he won't. He didn't do the gathering. Fuck tech. I'm like, oh, nigga. Just so because I didn't do this one because of death threats don't mean I won't do it again, my nigga. Right. right. Now, what's your relationship with E-40? It's my family, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's my family, you know what I'm saying? And when I just say it's my family, mm -hmm. I didn't find out that was my family till recent. Blood family? Nigga. All these years. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All these years. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah. wait, what happened? You gotta, you gotta describe All it. these years. Okay. I've been doing work with E-40, doing music. He's uh -huh. a cool cat. Right. Whenever, whenever I'm up there, he show love. Whenever he comes to Kansas City, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm gonna ask him this one to get yeah, all the yeah, white yeah. shit in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, we always been connected. We've been on tour together, everything. Mm -hmm. Like tour, two tours ago, this motherfucker called me like, hey, how you doing, Ted? I'm like, what's up, man? He said, I'm gonna put somebody on the phone. He put my cousin Christopher on the phone, who, we used to live in the same house in KC, and when my mom was in a battered relationship, we'd live out in Case Kansas City, Kansas with them, you know what I'm saying, right. running from her boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, right. shit like that. Little Christopher, you know. I said, what you doing with E-40? He said, Dante, that's our family. Uh, you didn't know that all these years? I'm like, nah, nigga, you ain't tell me either. <laughs> and wait, he, he got back. Yeah, no. he was at their house, my nigga. Wait, wait, wait. So he, he knew for years that y'all was... No, he didn't know. Oh, okay, okay. okay. He didn't know. All right, all right describe so, it. Okay. So when he found out, because uh -huh. he went to a family's house in the Midwest, uh -huh. you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? And it happened to be my family. Right. He got back on the phone. I said, no wonder I like your punk ass motherfucker. You crazy as <laughs> fuck. You know what I'm saying? He's not no punk ass. It's just yeah, how we yeah, talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but that's yeah. crazy. So what are y'all? Y'all like third cousins? Something like that. Yeah, but that's cousins. You know, but that's, that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's so crazy. crazy. Same thing with Nelly, man. You know what I'm saying? My, my, my great-grandmother's name is Maude Haynes. 
So yeah. y'all related too? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, so when niggas was talking bad about him, I'm like, don't talk to me about it. Dude. <laughs> don't talk. Don't, you know, because him and Karis one had some words. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop, okay, hold on. Don't, don't I, didn't know, I didn't know how you and Nelly's related. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's, that's you can't just, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah, just yeah, skip yeah. over that. Big up to Nelly too, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying it's the Midwest, though. Right, that's true. You know, when I when I went when I went to Saint Paul, no, three hours away. Okay, so. When I went to a family reunion years ago, and all the Haynes family was there. You know what I'm saying? That's how I found out that we were connected. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Through my uh, my auntie, um, Aunt Margaret, and Red, and Lamont, and all the motherfuckers. Yeah. All my cousins, just like, that's the Haynes side of family. You know wow. what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, Cornell Haynes. You wow. know what I'm saying? And wow. E-40. You know what I'm wow. saying? You know, the funny shit is, I... Um, I I don't got an awesome story like that. <laughs> like both of those stories is awesome. I got, I got, a, I got, a, I got a, um, like a local story. Like it was like, like a dude I got along with in the hood for years. In left rack. In left rack. Right. My man Bobby. We go to the family reunion. I'm like, yo, what are you doing here? He's like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and I'm like, oh shit. And the whole time I knew him for 20 years, the nigga was my cousin. Yeah. And I did not know. Yeah. Like, but it happens like that. But, but your story is way more awesome. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, E40 and Nelly. E40 and Nelly. Let's make yeah. some noise for this <laughs> family reunion yeah. being much better than mine. What I got on my face? That white shit on my face? Nah, 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 nah. You good. You good. Now, look, now look, Tech, I don't know if you see how I'm doing it. One is the pure you wells was left. I, I, and then one is the Moet. What did you say? The Perry Azure. The, the, the Perry Azure. Yeah, mine is, I put mine over there. I'm cool. Oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going to hit some of that Perry Azure. That's all good. I was about to ash in mine. Yeah, so I don't, I don't know, know if you know. Drink it. I don't know if you know. Um, yeah, my father to go to Hove. Hove is preaching right now <laughs> that black should support black. And when he says black, he doesn't mean... Does he mean Latinos you know, too? He means Latino. He means, he means white people too. He means people of the culture. Like hip-hop should support hip-hop. People need each other to help right. each other up. Right. And that's what... By the culture, of the, the, culture, the, the, of that's the what, culture. That's that's what yeah. idiotic supremacists and all the motherfuckers don't understand, that we need each other, nigga. Right. You know, I'm sizzling. Mm -hmm. um, shit, you see that shit going on right now? In yeah, 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 yeah. Virginia, isn't it? It's oh, Virginia. It's Char Charles, Charleston, thought, Virginia. Char oh, that's yeah, the Charleston. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah dude, right ran, dude like, ran over somebody, right? Ran over some people, I just right? seen the uh, motherfuckers clashing in the streets. And, yeah, racial shit. Yeah, looking crazy. Like, all the white supremacist groups got together. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy. Somebody, somebody sparked that shit, you know what I'm saying? When they said, let's make... America great again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and he ain't, <laughs> and he ain't David Duke was about it yet. Uh, David Duke was out there, and, and he, he said, and that's his homie too. We, we living up Trump's shit. That's what he said. He said yeah. what? He said some shit like that. Like, like yo, we living. This is Trump's wishes. Trump's dream? Yeah, like to you know make America him. white again. Was that? Uh, yeah, right. That's 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 I G H T. I mean, I'm trying to say that. Yeah, that's what it's called. It's, what is it? It's, it's, the rally is called "Put Together the Right" or something like that. Kind of one of the groups is the all right, right movement internet. or something. Come on, yeah, make it. The, the it's called right. It's called um, hold on, something like it's for the right. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because one of the huh? groups is the all right. Right to you. The, the what? Right to unite. Right to unite. Right to unite. Yeah, the yeah. right unite. So yeah, it's yeah. like R. But they really mean, you know. They don't know. Unite the right. Unite the right. And they're right. chanting "White li Lives Matter." That's what White they're chanting. White Lives Matter. That's crazy. It's just to counter Black Lives Matter. You know, everybody wants to be the chosen one. Everybody wants to be God's chosen. Right. You know what I mean? And it's like we're all human beings and shit. You know what I'm saying? But it's man created barriers. Right. Man created. You know what I'm saying? Like. Things that oh black people should listen to this kind of music and white people should listen to metal and mm -hmm. and um, you know what I'm saying Latino people should listen to this kind of music mm -hmm. but you know when everything's integrated it's beautiful some it's people beautiful. a lot of people don't want that you that's know what why I'm I love growing up in New York um, yeah I had a white person on my floor yeah. I had a Haitian person on my floor yeah. I had a Puerto Rican person on my floor yeah I had a, 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 a another white couple downstairs like we grew up in every <clears throat> If you like from real New York, you mm -hmm. can't be racist. Exactly, it's like you, you, you grew up too, around too many people of every race, and you realize early on that you can't blame that person for that race. Yeah, it's just that person's a dick. Yeah, the, you can't blame his whole race from that. Like, exactly, it, you can't just meet a person and say, "Oh, he's Colombian." Uh, yeah, he, he loves to sniff coke. <laughs> 
Yeah. And you got you blame another yeah. Colombian. Uh, he's black. He likes chicken okay. and watermelon and shit. Okay. Yeah, you can't say all oh, Colombians. He's black. He sells crack. You know what I'm saying? I'm just playing. I'm just playing. You think it's, it's more divided in the Midwest? I feel like because if you're looking at it's coast, divided everywhere. The coast, but seem more integrated in terms of like different cultures. Yeah. But in the Midwest, it seems you know I don't know. You get to Middle America. That's the Maybe it's just ignorance of mine, but it seems like Middle America is just more separated in terms of racial divide. Well, less, less diversity. Well, it's it's yeah, diverse is, as hell. Yeah, how you know, some states we're bringing in, like literally, there's yeah. some states that bring in people I'll from India and shit. When I listen to Can- when I hear Kansas City, it does sound racist in my mind. <laughs> like in my mind, it sounds like somebody gonna call me a nigga. I know where like I'm at. Somewhere. I know where I'm at yeah. when Garth Brooks can come to Kansas City yeah. and do yeah. ten sold out shows at the mm. Sprint Center. Mm. Mm. Sprint Center. Jacket. Sprint Center holds like uh, oh, like. Sprint Center holds like twenty thousand, maybe. I don't know, maybe more. Garth you know Brooks saying? out there kicking ass with the with ten, the hat on. Ten shows sold ten out. Ten shows it sold out. It lets you out. know where you at. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And two chains them come. You know what I'm saying? It don't sell out You know mm. what I mean yeah. Wayne coming Don't sell out It'll be a lot of people You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying um, It just lets you know Where you at Wow You know what I'm saying wow. But it's all types of people there But Garth Brooks Can come there mm. Right And sell out 10 shows So you're saying There's, a, I'm not there's lots, of, lots of people But there's a lot more Other people there <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do like Garth Brooks I want to throw that out there Yeah yeah But, but I understand what the Garth point you're trying to make Yeah 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 I know where I'm at You know what I'm saying So what was the best year For this is the thing. Okay. I did my biggest show ever. You uh-huh. remember I said the biggest one was like 60,000 people mm-hmm. in Denmark. Mm-hmm. I did my biggest show mm-hmm. in my city mm-hmm. when I did Rockfest year after, mm-hmm. year before last. Mm-hmm. 70,000 people in my town, man. Right. And the radio station was behind me like, Tech, this is for you, man. You know what I'm saying? Because I was right. getting a lot of pushback. Like, we don't want you go on YouTube and see... Uh, where they have all the comments for all the artists that are com- yeah. that are coming, you know, it was me, it was Papa Roach, it was um, Papa. Rob Zombie, mm-hmm. you know, it was Rock Fest, you mm-hmm. know, what I'm sizzling. So it's mm-hmm. like uh, a lot of people were on them comments. I read them too, and they mm-hmm. they hurt, you know, what I'm saying it's like mm-hmm. we don't, this ain't hip hop fest, this is Rock Fest. You know, Stop reading the, the comments. The, Tech you know, Nine, Tech please. Nine is gonna bring all the fucking Tech, black Tech. people there. I gotta, I gotta, no, 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 no. I, Stop I, reading I, comments. I, I know. My, my people at Strange been telling me that for you years. Gotta I have to. You gotta stop. Yeah. I, I can to. see when you said it, you was dead. Oh, oh man, it, like, gives, yeah, me it gives me fuel. It gives me fuel. It gives me fuel. You really meant that. It gives me fuel. So especially you when comments are the worst. I know, dude. I know. Oh man, it ain't nothing worse than World Star. World Star hip hop for me. World Star hip hop for me is worse than you. Dude. Don't, don't oh read. my god yeah. World star be like Fuck that nigga He corny You know what I'm like Damn you gotta, Yeah you definitely Gotta stop You know what I'm saying I'm like I'm corny right you, should, you too big for that You stop you know reading what I'm I think it's the face page Tech, I don't I even do. read My own Instagram <laughs> comments I do I just I just, I just So like, yeah, when I was Reading the comments <laughs> For rock fest <laughs> Before I did it Yeah Motherfuckers didn't want me there, dog. They're uh-huh. like, what is he doing at Rockfest? This is a rapper. They didn't understand that I did not fest with fucking Slipknot before, and I did other shit with Rob Zombie before, and I done work with right. Serge Tonkin of System of a Down. They don't know I did a song with the Doors before uh-huh. Raymond Zarek died. They don't know uh-huh. all this. They right. just think, nigga, red, right. gangbangers. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's uh-huh. all they saw. And that's like, all oh, the gangbangers gonna be, we're not going this year. Right. Fuck that. Right. Don't have Tech Nine. He does not belong. And, and where's this at? Where's Kansas City. Oh, okay. In my hometown. hometown. Wow. Wow. So, 98 The Rock, they knew about all this. They knew mm. that people were saying this. And Johnny Dare, the motherfucker that made it happen, one of the um, the big radio um, guys there, he was mm-hmm. like, um, he almost had tears in his eyes when I was about to go on. He knew. He's like, Tech, this is for you, man. I was like, don't do this to me right now, man. I'm going to go out and kill this bitch. And them mm. motherfuckers lit up, nigga, uh, all 70,000. I have my uh, band with me. We tore down everything, nigga. Uh, tore down everything. Papa Roach was right there. Nigga, Rob Zombie was over there. Seven Dust was up there. You know what uh, I'm saying? Everybody was watching. This Kansas City, this is your town. Yes. Let's make some noise for him killing yeah. his own town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I was doing this. Right. Because I never liked barriers, my nigga. Mm. We can't do this like because we neither. black. Mm. We can't go here. We, we used to couldn't drink out of a fountain because it was an right. all-white fountain. Right. Fuck that, nigga. You know what I'm saying? We need each other to help each other up. So yep. we do Rock Fest. We do Summer Jam with mm. Kanye and motherfucking mm. L.A. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We do... Mm. 
uh, EDM fest with um, excision and all the motherfuckers. One we of do y'all all niggas invite shit. me to an EDM shit. Oh man, it's the, it's, the, yeah, it's the new rave. It's the new rave. I'm trying to join with you. I haven't took Molly in a long so. time. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to go, but I want to be in the EDM. I want to. I, I can't take Molly no more. I can't take Molly. I got. I got. I'm Mr. Molly. I got a little relax. They call. They call. They call. Yeah, they call. 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 Okay. All the comments changed Like wow Tech 9 le- made us see Why he belonged there And still went back And oh, looked yes. at comments <laughs> Oh yes He wasn't even talking about Tech 9 being part of my baby gang He is Yo Baby gang I was trying to get him To part of the baby gang But he came up Baby gang You are now part of the baby gang Oh yeah 50 Cent is part of the baby gang Definitely a whole, it was a lot of people who admitted they were part of the Almost game. everybody's been on Drake's Almost, yeah, almost everybody, yeah. It's I just stay cool tuned. to be petty. I stay tuned because okay. it's like my fuel for what I rap about. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I need to see what motherfuckers are saying because I'm still trying to stay afloat, my nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? But I do what I do. Right. I'm not doing it for nobody else. Right. I just know what motherfuckers are saying. And sometimes I say something about it in the rhyme. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You know? And mm-hmm. motherfuckers sometimes just say shit just mm-hmm. to get a rise out of you so you'll respond to them. And mm-hmm. you go to their page and they post it. Oh, my God, Tech 9 said something to me even though it was right. fuck you. Leave me alone. Right, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm That's saying? That's why I don't, I don't look yeah, at Yeah, yeah, yeah. When people waste my time like that, I say, did you Bo- just... And, and when I do look at you by Mistake? Oh, you said something fucked up? Block. <laughs> I be oh, what's that shit? Oh, yeah. my Tim Way, my tumbo, nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. Who no. taught us how to block on Twitter? Was it Swiss? Not no. my house. Who taught us how to block on Twitter? Oh no, it was Ice T. Oh yeah. He said you could block without them even knowing you like that. Did you block them? <laughs> That's all. Ice T taught you that. Yeah, he taught yeah. us that. We yeah. got Ice T. So yeah, I made I made uh-huh. my I made my uh, presence felt. Uh, at Rock Fest in Kansas City, so that's been the biggest show I've ever done. Period, seventy thousand people mm. in my hometown, Kansas City. God damn it, man! Let's make some noise, man! God damn it! Yeah. Now, your affiliation with the Bloods, yes, coming from Kansas City, yes, it always takes people back. Like it's like wow, because you know, for real, like when we heard N.W.A. speak about Compton, that mm-hmm. was the first time. So I'm speaking from an East Coast perspective, mm-hmm. obviously. Um, that's the first time we heard about content. That's the first time we heard about gangbanging. Mm-hmm. So then it comes 360 around, and then we hear Little Rock, Arkansas, right? And yeah. How far is that from Kansas City? Uh, some hours, a couple hours. A couple yeah. hours. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. we hear about St. Louis. We yeah, hear you heard about, about Kansas City. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, yeah. we hear about On all DJ like, Quick's record. It's not, yeah. Yeah, it's it's not like just Compton, happening. Right? Yeah, it's just so, like Compton. Yeah, just like Compton. Can you describe that from, from your perspective? Because from our perspective, we was just like, oh, shit. But from, uh, we would like to hear from you In the early 80s, some guys from 37th Street, Fruit Town, Brim, California, uh-huh. moved into the 50s. Mm. I stayed on 58th. Now, now, now explain, folks, because you know our, yeah. our viewers is dumb. 50s in Kansas City, the 50s, the, the street, the street number. Mm, let's tell I stayed them. on 58th. Okay. My brother's um, school... Uh, Doc Scoob that's on the label? Yes That's my That's my big homie um, Scoob Doc um, Texas Will Short Nitty mm. All of them Were in the area of 56 And it was this group On the next block from 58 Called the 57th Street Rogue Dogs mm. We all went to school together mm. These are all my niggas I went to school with Duke you still cool with the 57th Street oh, World Dogs? Yes, man. I right, cool. Yes, it's on 457. I want to make oh, yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. I yeah. Up. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, 57. Let's yeah, keep it going. Yeah, 57. So 57. That's my family. These yeah. are the niggas that I grew up with. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And uh, the blood shit hit our neighborhood early 80s, like 84, 85. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? migrated from the West? Like how? Yes. 37th like Street, Street Food. Ice yeah. Cube, like yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. 37th Street Food Town, Brim. Dr. Bop. A nigga named uh, Troy, his brother Troy. You know what I mean? Um, they were the niggas that had the money, and they was the niggas that had the, it was the drug clothes. Bringing it over, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So school. Any purpose of coming to Kansas City? I don't, okay. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, you okay. have to ask my big homie, Big School. Cool, cool, I think cool. they have family there. You know what okay. I'm saying? I think Doc. I mean, uh, Bob had families there. Family mm-hmm. there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And. Uh, Whatever it was, they moved from 37th Street, Fruit Town, Brim, you know what I'm saying, to right. Kansas City. Right. right. And that's how the blood shit happened in our neighborhood. Right. You know what I'm sizzling? And Scooby Nim, uh, they're in the, like, the trenches in that shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I moved away from the block 
when I was 17, I ran away from home. I lived over there from 12. My mom married a Muslim when I was 12. Mm. Um, we moved on 58th and Forest. So I lived there from 12 to 17 mm -hmm. is when I witnessed Dr. Bop Nim coming into our neighborhood. You know, I, I used to have a Lecoq Sportif jacket. You know what ooh. I'm saying? You remember Lecoq ooh, Sportif? Ooh, ooh, the you know? Swisher, Swisher. Oh, yeah, yeah. man, ooh, with the little kangaroo on it. Mm -hmm. Not kangaroo, but the mm -hmm. cock a doo, -doo, doo I don't mm -hmm. fucking know what it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, I let my homeboy, Sean Gassaway, wear it up the street. And he came to my house one day after school. was like, man, them blood niggas took my, my your jacket off me. Because yeah. it had red on it, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I said, let's go find them niggas. So I found, I, we went, he was and scared. And you knew what Bloods was at the time? I know, yeah, Okay, no, okay, no, okay. This is when you 17, you saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 this, wasn't when I, this is in the midst of that. Oh, okay. Because to me, I didn't, I, didn't know, I didn't know what Bloods yeah, or Chris yeah. was to Ice-T Records, oh, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, we knew, we knew. Okay, we, I didn't yeah, know. It was niggas like when we were breakdancing, it was dudes that was going back and forth um, <clears throat> to California getting mixtapes and shit. And what year are you talking? Probably like the 80s already. It's got to be the 80s, yeah. man. Okay, okay. Somewhere in the 80s, oh, early 80s. Tell you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I can't help this Getting story. bringing Ice T tapes back, and they was wow. talking about Playboy versus the Crip and all that shit before Colors, before all and that shit. And they had the wow. Blizzard Crips, the tapes that they were making. Yeah, they wow. had their crew. Well, that was later on when we got but Blizzard. But still in the 80s, Crip. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know if the, uh, if Pyru Love was in the 80s, though. So I gotta look that up. I got I got the tape. Banging on wax. Banging on wax. I got that on tape. It gotta be the 90s. It gotta be the 90s. I think. I think it was the 90s. Maybe 91. You might be right. Actually, you're right. Because it was right after the riots. It was right after the riots. They did it with the police. We're listening to Public Enemy in the 80s. You're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 88. No, they kind of said it. It was a peace treaty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. Um, long story short, they moved in our neighborhood, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And my mm -hmm. niggas, mm -hmm. when I ran away from home, they got deep into it. Wait, wait, no, no, you, the jacket story. Mm -hmm. Oh, they robbed oh, it. oh, oh, yeah. we, got, we got the... I got you. So we was going to go find Bob, okay. the leader of the blood gang. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We was uh -huh. all young, you know what right. I'm saying? So I said, hey, man, that jacket you stole from him, Sean Gasway was taller than me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bob was shorter than him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and Bob said, you got to buy it back, little nigga. Uh -huh. I'm like, I'm not buying my jacket back. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting it then. I turned away and walked away. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Went and told my father. He's like, you should be fucking with them anyway. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So I never saw my Lecoq Sportif jacket again. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? I never saw this shit again. Let's make some noise. Hold on. Hold on. Let's make some noise. Hold on. Uh, let's have a rest in peace for his jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the story gets better. Hold on, because I know that guy wish he would have gave you the jacket. Let's have a rest in peace. Moment, three seconds. One, two, three. The cock sportif. The cock sportif. Let's look ahead. Continue. The story gets better. So, I'm in. after I left, mm -hmm. um, I ran away from home at 17. I went to go live with my auntie Zita. You know what I'm saying? My stepfather mm -hmm. called. He's a Muslim. He's like, You better get your ass back home. And I gave the phone to my auntie. Mm -hmm. And at this time, I'm like 17. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh, she's like, he ain't going nowhere. They, my family never liked him because my mom had epilepsy. And, um, yeah. you know, and they never liked him because they didn't understand that Allah was just a, a, a different language for the, for the word God mm -hmm. and this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. You know, arm, leg, leg, arm, head. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We just turn, thing, turn it into shit, you know? Right. Um, <clears throat> They didn't know. They they, they they felt like that Allah was another God. Right. And so they didn't like that my Christian mama married a Muslim. Mm. That's how... So it was like blasphemous. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, it's yeah. both black, yeah. black. Oh, it's yeah, black. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know how that is. So, yeah. um, you know, my Christian family didn't agree with him putting her in a psychiatric ward when she had seizures, you know oh, what I'm God saying? Bless. And I, I used to go visit her there and shit like that. They hated him. So when I went, when I ran away, uh -huh. they kept me. Like, you're not getting Dante's back. That's my middle name, Dante. Right. You're not getting Dante's back. And so I stayed with her all that time. And I started really working on my rap. You know what I'm saying? My raps and shit when I did that. And um, <clears throat> when I turned 19, I moved with my Auntie Ivy. And I started selling dope for her. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? She she was selling little pieces for another nigga. Mm. You know, so I'd sell thirty dollar rocks when she wasn't there, you know what I'm saying, for mm. her and shit like that. I wasn't mm. selling no big shit, you know mm. what I'm saying? And uh that wasn't for me and I left there. I was a nomad. I moved in a lot of people's houses doing music, you know what I'm saying? And I moved mm. with my homie Icy Rock, mm. a DJ. That's how I got <clears throat> how I got um 
that deal with Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He knew a group called Low Key who was signed to Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, and they got my music to Jimmy and Terry like, hell yeah, you know what mm. I'm saying? But somewhere in like 95, we lost that deal. I came back, and my niggas that I went to school with, Scooby and all them, they got with me along with this producer named Don Juan. Like, hey, man, what you doing these days? Man, you want to do a record? I'm like, yeah, man, we just got off of perspective. We ain't doing shit. Mm -hmm. So I went back to my hood, back to my blood hood, mm -hmm. and we started doing music. You know what I mean? No, but you ain't never tell us how, like, um... It, it, cause you, you said you said the, the jacket. Yeah. How, how did how did it like hit Kansas City? Because you said they they came and all that. How did you like initially? Is it join? now what you yeah. say? Now when you went back, is that when? No, no, no. Uh, I'm saying I'm saying in '85. That's how the shit got over here. Oh, that's how it got over. Yeah, here. yeah, okay. yeah. In '85, and all and all those niggas. Right. Those are my niggas. I grew up with. Yeah. So like, I'm gonna cool, ride with yeah. my family. Yeah. Wow. You know wow. what I'm saying? I ride with wow. my family. If my wow. family is bloods, that's what we doing, my right. nigga. Right. You know what I'm saying? These I'm, are my this this these are guys I love. Right. Point blank, period. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To this day, Scooby right. and all them, yeah. whatever it is, it's like I'm with them, and everybody know it. And has, has it ever been like uh, a problem? Type of, yeah, like like no, just, of course. just because like when you perform like uh, yeah, like in Long Beach, trying to talk, talk to you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Long talk. Beach is all crip. Yeah, correct? but they love us though. Okay, they love us hard. though. That's that's the blessing of Tech Nine. Right. They know my past and the niggas I'm with. Right. But it ain't never been no shit where niggas like nigga we gonna kill you because of your color no right. you know what I'm saying knock on wood you know right. what I'm saying it's it's like describe one time you felt uncomfortable though just because of your affiliation uncomfortable with Crips or anybody. or anybody 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 who had beef with blood yeah. uh, because of gang shit somebody robbed my big homie Scooby at gunpoint in front of his kids and tied them up, tied them all up. Oh, God bless. So we rode looking for niggas all after right. that. And I had to sleep on his couch with an AK in case somebody came back. And I just got married and shit, so my wife was pissed at me and shit. You oh, know what I'm saying? Wow. But uh, that's my nigga. And right. um, it sounds ignorant or whatever to people, but that's my brother, though. Right. Right. And I didn't like that somebody would do that. And it right. happened to be some Crips in the area, I guess. And thank the Lord we didn't find them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but on the road and shit, you know what I'm saying? Niggas will bang on you and shit, try to put C's on your chest, and you stop, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, what I you understand. mean C's on your chest? I don't, yeah, I don't, yeah, yeah, you know. What does that mean? It's like if you... He literally putting the crypts on the yeah, chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, this chest like this or something. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're going like that? Yeah, that's try to, foul. try to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like take a picture or something? No, they're just like, nigga, that's what it is. Like, no, no. <laughs> nigga, I know you, where you from, nigga. You know where I'm from. It's all love in here, nigga. Let's keep going. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to diffuse that shit because right. it, it could really go. Right. You know what I'm saying? Gang shit ain't no punk. You know what I'm saying? It's real. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas just try to do it because they in music and shit. Oh, I'm this, I'm that. Until they face with it and then like, no, I'm not that. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm that because that's where I grew up. And um, my mother, if she was still alive, she died from lupus in um, 2014. If she was alive, she'd kill me if she knew that I chose a side because I was wow. raised a Christian boy. And wow. then I had to study Islam from 12 to 17. So wow. to choose something like that would mm. piss them the fuck off. And my stepfather knew that. He would fucking kill me. Mm. You know, mm. back then, you know what I mean? But I chose that because I love them dudes. I respect so, that. You know what I'm saying? It was big um, um, Yeah. Let's I said, go back into music for a second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wayne. Yeah. I know you got love for him. You actually went to go see him in jail, correct? Rikers Island, man. You went to Rikers Island? Yeah. You a real nigga. I'm not even yeah. going to see my niggas in Rikers Island. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live 12 minutes. Well, it was a reason for it. Island. It was a reason. Them niggas got, you got to yeah, write yeah, me. Yeah, it was a reason Call for it. Call me, y'all. Go ahead, I'm sorry. It was a reason for it, though. Okay, go ahead. Because when he first went in there, I guess Fun Flex was interviewing him, and he said, what you going to do when you get out? He said, I want to work with my man Tech 9 and Andre 3000. I'm like, mm. how does nigga know me? Mm. I'm the weird nigga, you know what I'm saying? How you know me? You know what I'm saying? Music yeah, travels. No, music travels. Wow. So I would we would do things in New York like um we would do we would do you, things you like that. You, yeah, you got yeah, a big yeah, rope. Yeah, so like, that's yeah. the biggest rope ever yeah, left yeah, on yeah, Dream yeah, Champs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
You got a whole blunt. You don't worry about it. You, you right, keep I'm trying not to be stupid. All right, cool, cool. I'm okay. trying not to be stupid. So you, you know went. So this you heard this. So you heard that. Yes. So uh-huh. we would go to New York to do like press week. Mm-hmm. So my blood homies, mm-hmm. uh, Inglewood mugs. All right. Big them up. Hooked up with a nigga down here named Macho. Oh, big them up. You know what I'm saying? You know Macho. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Macho and them, Fat Joe uh-huh. and them, uh-huh. hooked it up for me to go see Wayne to tell wow. him thank you. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So you went to the, the streets. Right. Yeah. Hooked that up. Right. You know what I'm saying? Really love, man. Right. Streets. So yeah. much love, dude. God so damn. much love. So much shit happened. Even the verse I just got from T.I. on my last record. You God know what I'm saying? The streets got that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Big U and Mugs. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? These are Bloods and Cups working together, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's harmony, Big my daddy. nigga. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. God damn it. Continue. So... We got up there to Rikers. What do you say? I'm trying to get drunk over here, man. Listen <laughs> 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 to Rikers Island story, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so you go, you go up there. So we went. We was up there for doing our press. So the first time we went up there, uh-huh. they blocked us. They say, nope, can't get in. Sorry. Some oh shit, no, some shit happened on the inside. Some kind of oh, riot okay. shit. Yeah, understand? Can't go. We had, I'm like, fuck. All right. So the powers that be mm-hmm. said you can go up tomorrow. Me and my partner Travis went up there, and I was like, damn, man, I ain't never met Wayne. I'm going to tell him thank you, man. You don't have to say my name. That's a big thing, my nigga. I, would, right. I didn't expect nothing out of it. I just wanted right. to say thank you, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I show him some love, you know? Right. On some real nigga shit. So um, we got in there, and I was, I was like, what am I going to talk to this nigga? Right. They said, we got an hour. Right. I said, what am I going to say to this nigga for an hour? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Him. Other, you know what I'm saying? Other, yeah. no. Nigga, we talked for three hours straight uh, about everything. Man, mm. He talked about how Kanye came up there and did his whole album for me. He was sweating. He took off his jacket and was doing all this <laughs> shit. Dope. Acapella and shit. Dope. You know wow. what I'm saying? He said he was just watching the nigga like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Because wow. there's a table like this. Yeah. Wow. We sitting over there. Wayne's over here. We just right here. We can touch him. You know what I'm saying? We uh. cool. Bow, bow, bow. It wasn't no window or nothing, right. nigga. So he right. said Kanye came in and performed his whole record. Dope. You know what I'm saying? I forgot what record. It was, you know, a yeah. big record, obviously. But he said he did every song for him, acapella, my nigga. Yo, you gotta give it yeah. the guy for that. Nah, he's yeah. Yeah. Come on, make some noise that for Kanye. Kanye's yeah. 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 the president. Yeah. So we ended up talking for three hours, and the warden had to say, okay, it's enough. Wow. So when we was walking away, he said, when I get out, my nigga's on. I said, okay. Right. And when he got out, he told us to come down here. To Miami to Hit, hit Factory. factory hit, hit Factory. That's how you know I'm high. I'm like, yeah. to New York, right? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit Factory. Hit Factory. Know, that's how you know I'm high. You're yeah, definitely yeah, high, yeah, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking I'm in New York because I got a flight to New York later. So I'm like, yeah, we can You're just already in New York. There. You already flew like, there. I'm high. I'm yeah, so sorry. No, it's not good. I'm high too. Continue. I'm high too. Continue. I'm, too. Continue. I'm, I'm, I'm a relaxed high, you know? So relax. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Relaxed high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make some noise with it, Continue, continue. So, Wayne. The engineer was mm-hmm. Mike Banger at the time. Mike you know Banger, saying? big him up. Yeah. So, when I went there to do the reverse, mm-hmm. Wayne then was in there, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I was like, thank you, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? He gave me the beat. I said, why can't I go write this? He said, Baby Studios over there is the all red one, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, I like all red. Let me go over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. Sat in there for a while. I was already tired. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm running in. I'm like, hot's what it is. Watch with the kid. Drives with the good properly, not with the bed. Not only get the reasons I've the pop to the crib. So I hate motherfuckers. You better stop with the jail. Off with the but You know, I'm writing the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like right there. And I got tired. And I was like, you, you write it fast too? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's just how I know how I go a little bit now. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. You, you start like, how you going to stick the beat? You're like, eh, eh, eh. I'm like, okay. I'm like hot's what it is. Hot's what it is. Watch what the kid drops. I'm gonna get the props if you're not with the biz. If mm. you're not with the biz, not only other regions, I really popped at the crib. Mm. So hating motherfuckers, you better stop with the jibs. Mm. <laughs> you know, so I'm just, it mm. comes like you got to think about that shit. You mm. know? But it's mathematics; it's the hardest thing because mm. you wanted to pop it, 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 to pop it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's mathematics. So it took a minute. Mm-hmm. So it was three o'clock in the morning. And I was like, I walked in the studio. They were still in there. It was. Wayne, it was Mac Main, it was the nigga yeah, that used to be in the R. Kelly videos named Boo or somebody. Boo and Gotti. Boo and yeah, Gotti. Yeah, 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 yeah. They was all in there. Yeah, them niggas start their nigga. session at 12 at night. They got to yeah. relax. Yeah. You know the time I start my sessions? What Six time? In the morning. 10 a.m. 
Me too. Yeah, yeah. I'm early in the morning. Me too. But in LA, that's where I go. Six in the morning. I go to like in LA six in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get extra three hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go six hours. Go to ten too. But so. I walked in there I wouldn't finish with the rap And Boo mm-hmm. Nim was in there And some light skinned nigga That Wayne called his brother With dreads I don't know who he was And so there was a chick in there mm-hmm. And I came in And they was all looking I told the story before You know mm-hmm. people heard the story before. They were all looking up In the air like this All of them was like Looking up in the air yeah. It was like some alien shit dude uh-huh. Cause I walked in And I just looked at them For a while Mac Main was looking up like this And Wayne was looking up like it. Everybody Boo all of them was looking up and Wayne looks down to Mac Man and said, what if I said clear? Does that make sense? And uh, Mac Man said, <laughs> and I said, ah, they all broke it. I broke their shit, whatever they was doing. Right. I say, man, is it okay if I come back tomorrow, man? He's like, oh, yeah, man, come back tomorrow. I say, thank you. That was the weirdest shit I ever seen. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Them niggas was getting words out of the sky. Right, yeah. I saw this with my own eyes here in Miami, dude. I'm like, what the fuck were they looking at, dude? That is so dope. <laughs> Did you yeah. see that? No. I'm so jealous. <laughs> Never I walked so in on it. Right. I walked in on it. I was in the other studio. I did walk in on them one time, and they just looked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they was doing. They were just they were getting but words out the sky. Words right? out the sky. Yeah. That's hard. Martian. He says he's a Martian, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So he was in other galaxies. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I speak up Lil Wayne. That's my motherfucking yeah. brother. Me too. God damn it. Mr. Leach, I got a flight to check. I can perfectly do this podcast without a shot. I don't understand. Why do you why are you, Are you the guy who wants to be sober? Why don't you do a shot? Who's they? Who's they? The aliens? Who? I mean, the aliens. I gotta take a piss after this. I'm in. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Take a no, I'll take a shot. I'll take a I don't shot. do shots, but I'll take shots. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm you gave me the, he gave us the hottest bottle on the market. It's the only Syrah. Thing. All right, listen. Can we get somebody to. But who gave you this bottle? Illuminati? Right. It's always <laughs> Illuminati, bro. It's the always Illuminati. Illuminati. <laughs> All right, so look, look. Okay. I'm gonna do my ice and my shot, because I like my shot. I'll do a Columbia oh. white shot. Right, cool. I, I don't do yeah. no, I don't do no training wheels. I just take it. Oh yeah, I need training wheels. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I got things to do today, but not really. <sighs> I'm glad it's not tequila though. All right, so you gonna do the honors of pouring the shot? Come on, it's your motherfucking idea, Dominican. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Mr. D. You're apparently trying to get you drunk. I don't mind. I, 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 <laughs> you don't mind. I don't mind. It's I an honor being it. on here with y'all, man. I appreciate nah, y'all. Man, come man. on. Come on. Yo, yeah, tech, yeah, please yeah. come here all the time. No doubt. This is your home. This is your home. Big totally. up Mayday and all your other artists. We bring Mayday over here, too. Where, yeah, where the no hell Mayday is at? Come over here and sit down, and man. And the nigga that ain't I know. I, me, I remember when we were here. Where y'all at? I remember Kendrick was supposed to be on here and y'all was supposed to give him the plaque or something. Yeah, but he didn't make it. Yeah, it was supposed to happen. You see? That, yeah, that's yeah, blowing yeah. up. Yeah, no, it was supposed to happen. Kendrick yeah. Lamar, we yeah. love you. Yeah, and we yeah, got yeah. No, I got it. Yeah, we, we, gotta, we, we gotta get back to the Kendrick because I want to talk about it. We were supposed to have him more. on Drink Chaps well, we here, because we're gonna give him the plaque. Yes. From, look, come on. And, and Top was asking shots, me for the... Give him shots. Give him nah, shots. No, no, Rick is good. He's not taking a shot right yes. now. No, why? Nah, no, he's good. He's good. He's good. That's not fair. That is not fair. <laughs> nah, it's good. I'm going to have to ask him to exit the camera. Nah, nah, nah. I got a twin over there. I got a twin over there. He's got a twin over there. He's got a twin over there. He's got a baby coming soon. You are? Yeah. I got six babies. Nah, nah, nah. He's even selling a dick out of his wife. It's the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm back in the prep right now, man. Yo, get your shot. It's the hardest thing I've ever done right now. I've been trying for three months. You alcoholic? What y'all doing? No, no. It's just like you're an alcoholic. You just take a shot. Whenever you have to stop a three months. Take a shot. Whenever you have to stop a three months. These motherfuckers are Jack Daniels. Shit. Let's do it. Come on. You want me to get some Jack Daniels? I need some Jack Daniels. These niggas are going to drink Jack Daniels like water. Jack Daniels. The boss. I'm not respecting that water shot. I'm throwing that out there. Right now, I'm not saluting you with none of that. I love you. You're my friend. Uh, but nah, I told his wife yeah, I got his back on this one. Why? He, you got to be sober for a certain amount of time? Yeah, yeah. I'm Throughout the pregnancy, he's, he's, he's sticking to that. Yeah. Well, uh, how, 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 how many months is it? Three months in. You got to relax. Hey, my nigga. 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 Hey, my
Drink dance now, like Nam. Where's Nam? That was smooth. Let's right. do another one, man. Nam, where you at, bro? Let's do another one, man. Come you on, know, let's do it. <laughs> no, nobody can't take your shot. That's not what you we do. You shouldn't even said that one. Come on. You are made that you're sound a strange music. You want to come take his shot? I got his back, please. No, leave him alone. I am sorry. You leaving him alone. You never texted me that. I got his back. Nam's just taking his shot for him. Nah, we no? don't do that. Okay. This okay. is not the game show. Uh-uh. What you got right you gotta, there? You're going to take your shot for you. Water. Soda. Uh, Soda. Okay, okay. So you can sit sit right down, here, no? Right? Or right, you can come stand up and dance. Oh, oh. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do one more shot. Come on. For Mayday. Chief, this is for Mayday's show tonight. Mayday show tonight. You can't have somebody else take your shot we for We in Blackburn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. yeah but I, I need to get into this story. Yeah, what's up? What, what, why is your wife... So the, restricting you no, from alcohol. No, no, no. He's no, in solidarity no. with his wife. Yeah, yeah. What does solidarity mean? I don't it, understand. I, because she knows that she Jack Daniels it. is his water. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that it? Let's just, this is a myth. This is a dream chance. I, I low key even wanted to, I wanted to do a detox. And then right around the time we found out she was pregnant, I was like, you know what? The most important thing I could tie a detox to so is, is the pregnancy. Months? Yeah, nine months. A detox. I mean, I know how to do that. I'm pretty sad about it. Considering we're going on tour on Monday, I'm losing my uh, my, my uh, drinking partner for, for tour. Mm. So, uh, it's going to be the hard. The two months on tour is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. Mm. Drinking how many more months are you going to go, man? That bottle I'm in the, go in the uh, green room is going to. I'm proud of Rick. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I am. I went for a long time. I had to. You the only one. I had to do it for life insurance. I don't need nobody to make noise. Don't make no noise. Don't make no noise. I need nobody to make noise. I'm not weed. All that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to stand on record and say I am not. I am proud of you, brother. Proud of you at all. I'm saying you gonna make up for the partner. Yes. You gonna you gonna come on. Let's take a double shot. You gotta take a double shot. Yeah, you gotta take a double shot. That's how I would do for Gabon. Fuck it. That's how I would do for Gabon. Okay, are we ready? Dude, this shot. is strange music. Nigga. Liquor shot. Strange oh. music, baby. Strange music. Oh, Tech Nine. Look at Tech Nine's clip. Mm. <laughs> that nigga got a whole blunt as a roach. That's a real nigga right there. So, <laughs> mm. Oh, shit. Mm. Let's do another one, nigga. Okay. Hey, relax, guy. Hey, hey, hey. You got a drink for him. He wants to sleep on a plane. He, he got, does. That's right. You got a drink for him. Got it. Oh, Wait, but you're cheating with the ice, man. Yeah. Hey, man, listen. I ain't never said. <laughs> I ain't never said I'm going um do it y'all way. I'm gonna do it my way, cause I'm a I'm a I'm different type of person. I'm from 97-3057 Avenue. <laughs> what is the cross streets? Between what street and what street? Corona, New York, 11368. I like you it. Understand? I like it. I like too, it. Man. I like it. I like it. And, Respect I'm, the technique. Bro. I'm going to make you. I'll be back. I'll be back. You're a little today. Today, you're a little. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll take that. I'll take that. I got respect. You're, you're still my friend, right? but no, today, I'll take that. I'll take that. Nah. This take is that. drink champs. We got to salute it. That's strength right there, man. That's strength. I'm not going to lie. So this is not in front of drink champs. Like, when the cameras go off, I'm going to salute you. Right, you don't like you're, 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 you're falling off, too, no? Yeah, no, no, no. You came in here to drink for him, and you're not even drinking? What the fuck is going on? Mmm. Wait, but let's get back to something real quick. Let's go. To I want to go back to when Kendrick was touring. Yes. Mm. When he was he he was so he was the the hype man for J Rock, right? Yes, he was. It was a, it was a hype man before um, Kendrick came out, but the hype man that was with J Rock first, his name was MJ EMJ, MJ. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and um, he we were in Reno. Yeah, I know. Mm, way after the show, you yeah. know what it was. You know, we were all connected, man. You know what I'm saying? And he went out to talk to his girl. You know what I'm saying? Late night. You know what I'm saying? After the show, it was like three o'clock in the morning, maybe. Yeah, it was late. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A couple hours after the show. Mm-hmm. And some niggas that was across the street at the uh, gas station. They must have saw he had on a red shirt, but actually MJ was a crip. He was just wearing a J Rock shirt. Oh, get the. F- yeah. Wow. Yeah. So they walked up to him while he's on the phone and say, "Y'all ready?" And he's like, what's up? And they try to square up on him, all three of them. I think it was three of them. Yeah. So Cut Calhoun came from the back of the bus and like, oh, y'all trying to jump on my nigga? And then the dudes just start, one dude starts shooting and hit him six times. He was still alive. I was talking to him like days after, like real niggas don't die, motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I just want to celebrate. Singing to him. He's like, we got to do a song tech when I get out of this bitch. And a blood clot took him away. So that's why Kendrick had to come out to fill in for MJ, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, MJ. Yeah, rest man. in peace. First oh, time we had any lost anybody on tour, my nigga. Wow. We've been going to Reno for years, my nigga. That's never happened. You know, it's so, wow. so crazy. That was our first tour with you too. Yeah. I know you guys were yeah. devastated. I made it. Oh man. Yeah. How many? How many? We had all wait, 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 wait. But before we get, I just I have the Kendrick. What I wanted to get to talk about was mm-hmm. so Kendrick did, came out. Did you did you see? Oh yes. What was oh, yes. to come from Kendrick? Oh yes. That's why people don't know that he was on a song before Fragile on All Sixes and Sevens called I Love Music. Because after he gave me that Section 80 disc or whatever, I went home and listened to it. I'm like, damn, this nigga hard. So I sent him a song. I love music. Nobody didn't know who he was. Well, somebody from Crazy Hood. I can guarantee. Well, you. I, I guarantee you it's not Crazy Hood. <laughs> I think it's someone from Thug Down Militant Floor 57. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. So nobody knew who he was, but I knew he was talented. You know what I'm saying? And that's a little bit... Did you some, ever think about, I want to sign him to Strange? Well, when we signed J-Rock, we had everybody. You know what I'm saying? Black Hippie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's like we had first right of refusal and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? So Which is, which is J-Rock... <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Schoolboy Q. Uh, Schoolboy Q and Absol. And Absol. He said it, man. No, I'm sure home. Tell me. What did you say? What did I say? You just said you had. First right of refusal. You know what I'm saying? On Gangsta Talk. On Black Hippie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. is. Kendrick, J Rock, Absol, School and Schoolboy Q. Q. Yeah. And, and on Strange had, Music They were on Strange Well they didn't have an it album was, on Strange Music no, just TDE We were yeah. connected to them So it was like wow. we could do whatever But then when Dre came in and say We want that We was like hell yeah All you gotta do is you know, give us the money it back It wasn't gonna get in the way Y'all wasn't yeah, gonna get in the way Yeah we wasn't gonna get in the he way you like, know, So we was just helping J-Rock out You know what I'm saying Getting wow. him off of Warner You know what I mean And um, that's how it happened I guess he met Dre at the the LA show yeah. on that same tour. Oh, he met on the tour? Yeah. yeah. Um, when he was on the tour, yeah. But we did we played the House of Blues. Saw, saw we played the House of Blues. Not he the met him that, that night. Drunk as fuck and J Rock's sister helped me out. No, not that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So after that, after he uh, signed with uh Dre, uh I sent him uh Fragile. And Yellow Wolf was like, nah man, send it to me, man. I got this. He said, I ain't been feeling music lately, man, and this really Pushed me. He said, I don't believe who, who Yellow Wolf. Song, no, I, 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 sent, I, sent, I sent Kendrick. Kendrick, that's what I But he was on tour. Song produced by Mayday. Yes, yeah, song produced Mayday. by Mayday. They, sent it to, they, they came to Kansas City to play me beats mm. before we had our studio. We were still in fucking Chapman, dude. Yeah, yeah. now they have a city built. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're building a yeah. whole city. So, <laughs> niggas got a city? We got a city. We got Strange Land, we got Strange World, we got HQ. We got Strange Works now. Strange got Disneyland shit yeah. happening. Right. <laughs> so, Good. what the fuck was I saying? I'm fucked up. Uh, when they played oh. Fragile. Oh, so they came to Kansas City and they played me all these beats. I'm listening. I'm like, damn. And Fragile came on. I said, whose beat is that? They said, it's ours, but you can have it. I said, are y'all sure? Are y'all sure y'all want to give this to me? Because I knew it when I heard it, dude. Yeah. I'm like, are y'all sure? Because it had... Kendall this Morgan on it and shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're just playing their beats off their shit. Like, if you want any of this, you can have it, but I'm like, what? That is uh-huh. so fucking love, dude. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? That gave me fucking fragile. They ain't had to give me that shit. Uh-huh. And we you own this saying? record, right? Yeah. Huh? You own this record, right? What yeah. you talking about? You own, I mean, like, because we can play it right now? Oh yeah, can, yeah can we, we own get the like DJ ish. Oh, yeah, like, we yeah. don't need to like clear it, clear it, clear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Go through me and Travis. It's not right, boom, play that joint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they, and, them, and them too. They're gonna say fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? This right, is let's family. Let's play that joint. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's play and, that joint. And, and we all got our first plaque off of this record. Yeah, we did. As management label, yeah. First off, five hundred thousand slow go. I'm not the first plaque. And second off, y'all y'all should have sent me a plaque for being friends. Boris, draw him. gotta take a beat. <laughs> I'm gonna take a record. Hold on. I'm gonna take a picture. Are we taking a break? But you yeah, yeah, play yeah. the record though, right? Because yeah. y'all own that record. Yeah, right now. Has it been played? Oh yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. We ain't yeah. got to send it. Universal. No, 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 no. Not like that, right? No, no, no. So, Tech, are, are you out here for the Mayday show, or you was out here just because you was out here? I'm out here for this. Mm-hmm. And Dream the Mayday Channel. show. And we shoot a video as well. Mm. You know what I'm saying? God damn it. New album, yeah. Mayday. You got, you got a shot? Right? You got a shot? I, I, don't, have I don't have one. I don't have one. You ain't got one. Come on. Take a shot? You got a shot? Yeah, I got a shot, bro. Let me find out. 
Mm-hmm. Let me find out. Holy mm-hmm. shit. Chichi, you want me to yeah. double up? I'll double up. Look, no, 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 look, don't double look, up. Look, 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 <laughs> mm. I did come to help mm. you. Mm. Look at him. Oh, oh God. I'm not gonna lie. Man, listen, you about to fly a plane right now. <laughs> <laughs> Been on the plane for a half an hour. <laughs> what you use for your uh, huh? your clean cut, my name? Is it uh, his name? Because I do it myself, and sometimes I miss spots and shit. No, his name is Dioni. Oh, you have somebody do that? He's mm-hmm. got he's got a Domini- a personal Dominican. Huh. You look like you still have your hairline if you grew your hair back. I tried to. Yeah, it my, doesn't survive. Nah, my hairline. But, but you know, but you know, my shit, my shit, my shit will grow though. Yeah, I, yeah. Got, I got, I got a full set of hair. Oh yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, but yeah, it would start yeah, back yeah, there. Yeah, though. I got a full set of hair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, want me, you want me to grow my shit out? No, I, no, I no, need no, dreads no. and all that. No, 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 no. If you want, yeah, you should grow dreads. You want me to go like this and the dreads just come out? Nah, nah. I used to have braids. This is what I do for a vault. Drink chaps. You're gonna grow DJ your dreads. DJ Infinite. Who's Infinite? That nigga. He's my friend. DJ Infinite. The original nigga I know. He used to be me Molly. Damn. <laughs> and ecstasy. He was still EFM Damn. back then, but I don't know no. what you're talking about. He was ever remember. <laughs> you used to bring him Molly? Man. I used to yeah. sell him all kinds of shit. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, he was my Cuban connect. Nah, I was that tight. guy for one half a second in my hand. I, I talked about tight. him and um, I got stories like that when I was in the In the war report? Don't throw it's me in the war report. It's 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 it was terrible. It was terrible when I was first. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know. We, 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 went, we went totally left right now. It's okay. Let's just have fun, man. Yeah. Yo, strange music. Now, Mayday, this is direct question for you guys. This guy has set up this international independent hustle. Hmm. How does it feel being a part of that conglomerate? Wow, I mean, it feels amazing. Oh, you got to talk to my mic. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> we, we, we're not that rich. No. <laughs> <laughs> they feel like we need to reach even more fans. <laughs> um, it feels like we were given like a blueprint mm. of like how to like make it mm. in this shit. You know what I'm saying? On your own. Yeah, like I feel like um, when I watch when I watch Tech and them, like we try and basically tour as much as he does, and we try and like put out records as much as he does, and because we see that like one of the main things that I think helped him was his consistency, mm. you know, and fans could always depend on like a high quality and product continuity. from him. And con- yes, you so, say continuity because that's a new word I learned personally. <laughs> I love that oh, word. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I'm, 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 I can't know how to spell what. But this. yeah, no. So I mean, I, I think uh, that really like was is like uh, is the learning curve for us was like is huge. You know what I'm saying? Like when we got there, you know. And then obviously being amongst like the fucking best rapper in the world. Like I really think he's one of the illest MCs. Oh, like, and, not to mention and that's just because he's who I really mention, truly think is one of the illest strange, MCs. We had already been, you know, we, we go right. back, we've been around the block right. a few times and we've right. run into a lot of people with, you know, amazing talent level but they're not genuine good people. Mm. Whereas at Strange, from all the way from tech to, mm. to the newest artist that signed, you get mm. nothing but like very humble, down to earth, want to work, mm. like good motherfuckers that don't mm. give a shit about like, yo, let me get in front of you and get this shot. Like they all want everybody to win which is just exactly. a beautiful thing. Exactly. No, no, let me ask y'all something because Tech uh, alluded to it earlier where he was saying that Wayne was interested in y'all and we all seen the video where you guys um, uh, together or, or whatever oh, no, 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 oh, well, no, no with uh, Wayne walking the Mayday no yeah. they were in the Mayday they were in the yeah. Wayne video he the Mayday two video. Two videos. this yeah. is just th- it just comes with testament of how cool Wayne is as a person right. that um, oh, yeah. they, they invited us there to basically be his band for the video right. and in between takes like us not first of all not being hella green we right. like literally brought our, our equipment to, mm. to the video shoot mm. which you're just supposed to mm. bring your guitar mm. and that's it like mm. you know not an amp and like really mm. play so we brought all our shit so in between takes we would just play and he would rap with us right. so he would just like have a really he had a great time just vibing with us so he invited, invited us to the other video mm. and then after that when he saw us, the shirts there he just for the video without even asking grabbed the shirt and put it on for the video Wow. his stylist everybody was like uh, okay like 
like, you know what I mean? They had to change everything. The people at the, at, at, the, at the label were like, who are these Mayday people? Why is he repping them? Like, do we need to fuck with these people now? Because yeah. he's and repping them. And he wore them. the shirt. And he put on the Mayday yeah, shirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, so, that was ill, man. I mean, and again, it's just because he's just cool ass motherfucker and doesn't care, and like I feel and like just goes off the, his vibe. The end of that story is that we 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 opened up, we played a show at our center, we opened up for Goody Mob and Nas, yeah. amazing show, wow. and then that was after the video shoot, and then that was a Saturday. Then the Sunday, it was Super Bowl Sunday. The next day, we're at the crib, everybody's chilling, we're watching Super Bowl. We get a call. They're like Wayne. He Bill was about Marlott. to go. He was about to go away, and he was like Wayne wants you to play his going away party yep. Sunday night on the beach. Like it's in three hours, yeah. and we was like, you know, we. He was like, okay, we got some time. Plex, being the impulsive one that he is, ran out, like, low-key ran out the door. He was like, I'm out. Let's go. What, what do I need? Like, what equipment do we need? And we ended up playing his going away party that night. It was crazy. Was he wild. showed us a lot of love in one weekend. You know? And these wow. guys are so professional. They rocking with instruments as well. They rhyming. These are yeah. illest rappers you ever met in your life as well. Yes. Don't get it twisted. But totally. they rocking with equipment. And we go into a rap show where they were not expecting equipment at that show. At a club. It was and that club, was yeah. insane that these guys' professionalism set up. And we're able to do a it show. It was definitely like us, us against the room. Yeah. Know, Drake was in there. Drake was just starting to get yeah, popping. Are we supposed right? to make noise for Mayday right now? Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. Let's make some noise. Let's make some Are we supposed to make some noise for strange music right now? Let's make some noise for Mayday. Are we supposed to make some noise for Tech Fucking Nine right now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, listen, man. We did what we had to do. Yeah. Because we had to do it and we love doing it. And yeah, we, we love, love doing, doing it. it. I feel like it's one more shot. It's left in everybody. There's definitely another shot here. One more Let's shot. I'm going to join this. Guy. Yes, no, I'm going to join yeah, this. Yeah, Jesus. I'm going to stop playing. playing. You got to stop I'm going to relax. <laughs> you got to relax. <laughs> relax with two angry guys. Right? Yeah, okay, no, no, give okay. me back the test. I stopped smoking. Right. And if you want to light another one, don't worry. Because no. yeah, you know why? You don't want to roll one and light one for me. You want to roll one and light one for me. We turn half Jamaican. You, you know, you know, you, you were, do you know? Um, Nori Bonton. Do you know I did a song where I said we in the club like da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? I did that. Oh before. yeah, yeah, I did that. Come on. I forgot what song it was. Mm. I did it like da da da. You got like nine thousand songs. Yeah. <laughs> you missed one. Nine thousand what? I, I rhymed it though, like da 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 da, and I got you got you get nada from my. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I, I fucking rhymed it. Some shit like that. You gotta send me that, baby. I don't know what song it is. I forgot what you talked about on all on my song where I had with you, and you was like Molly. Some shit. You and Molly had beef for a little while. Oh yeah, we did. What happened? It almost killed me. I like Molly. She never did nothing bad to me. Yeah, but <laughs> see, I got I got the money to keep it coming in abundance, mm. and you do too. You know what mm. I'm saying? Yeah. But I didn't want it to stop. I don't want it to ever stop. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, from, I learned my lesson. I went from I, ecstasy. I woke up in Flatbush. I, I said, from, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I, went from, I went from taking singles to double stacks to triple stacks to four triple stacks and all that kind of shit. I, I, I went double stacks. Yeah, That's as far then, as I yeah, went. yeah, I went to triple stacks. You know what I'm saying? And when I got the triple stacks, after that, you go to pure MDMA, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And the little capsules. Now, now, when we talking about that, are you talking about you was, you breaking pee? Because look, I don't, I don't know if you know. I sound like chemist right now. No, I'm saying. I take a little bass. Molly, back then. Molly, Molly back like then uh, comes in like like a little uh, capsule, you know what I'm mm. saying? Like you take a medicine and you can mm. break it open. And if it's a group of people, mm. we break it open and put it on the table, you know what I'm saying? Mm. And you put lines, as many lines you can make, mm. and you lick your finger and you do your line, bow, mm. and your line is 1,000. Oh, you just bought a lot of cocaine, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did the Miami Vice. <laughs> he was like, damn, he was professional. He was like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But this, oh, yeah, this is how you yeah, know yeah. he was real with it, because he wiped it down. He was like, that. Like, like you know yeah. like, nigga for eight, like, like nah you wouldn't yeah some people were like said, some chicks would like put it up their nose and shit like that I, I yeah, never I, did I that knew, I knew people that they wanted bitches it, wanted it in their ass yeah they what, wanted what, it in their ass they, they, they wanted pills in their ass no, but it caused a, anal linkage anal leakage you know what I'm saying oh no I never dealt with that so. yeah I never dealt with what that happened? either I'm just saying no this bitches is like they just wanted it in their ass I think they just wanted somebody to put it in their ass you know what I'm saying so they would have something in their ass or say put something else in my ass if you put a pill in my ass for some reason I feel like we've been on the same tour. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah, right? I met a couple of chicks that wanted it in their ass, and yeah, I'm it was, like, it was, it was you got to go do it, my nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not yeah. about to put it in your ass. I'm yeah. losing hope for you guys right now. Yeah. No, I'd never put it in the ass. <laughs> 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 no, wait, he said it. No, I never put it in the ass. That's why I never put it in the ass. It was just 
talk of like, you ever had it in your ass? I'm like, no, and I never will. <laughs> <laughs> take a shot, take a shot. Oh, I got a shot. Look, my, look at my shit, EF man. You ain't drinking. You know my, my shit is, look. Chichi, you ain't get the yeah, yo, bro. Give me some more. <laughs> Chichi, you ain't get the yeah, yo. Give me some more. Let's take mine pull my shit. That, that's an you. honor. I got you. That's Damn. an honor. Last nigga pulled my shot was Puff Daddy. You got yours over there now? He yeah, had no you. respect for me. Holy <laughs> shit, <laughs> 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 you got to take it out. I'm in. Listen, G-Code, that's G-Code shit. I am, Yo, much respect. Thank you very much. And listen, uh-huh. Revolt TV, Strange Music, Crazy Hood, <sighs> Dumb Down Entertainment, Entertainment, Drink Champs. This is what we do. We celebrate our motherfucking Woo. hip-hop legends yes. while they're alive. We give them their flowers where they can smell them. Yes. We give them their trees where they can inhale them. Mm. We give them their thoughts where they can think them. Yes. We give them their drinks where they can drink them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to break down. I'm this. not gonna lie. I think I want one more. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, shit. Oh, shit. This guy is a movie. Uh, yeah, super movie. Super movie. You, you, <laughs> you know those lyrics we were talking about for tonight? Nah, forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Damn. No, but listen, 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 listen. Because I knew what this was gonna Tech be. Tech Nine. Yes. <laughs> Mayday. Yes. We want to salute you guys. We want to respect you guys because a lot of us. What happens is people have success, mm-hmm. and when they they humble themselves down and they gotta go independent, it's almost like, damn, I gotta pay for this, I gotta pay for this, I gotta pay for this, and a lot of us get distracted. Of course, especially when a you lot see of a us return. lose roles. Yeah, I want to salute y'all. Yeah, I want to show respect to y'all. I want to actually really salute y'all. Salute for. Sticking with it. Yes, sir. Believing in yourselves and going out there and doing what you got to do yeah. to get what you got to get to make sure everybody in y'all, you know, spectrum is doing what they got to do. Yeah. Because a lot of people get distracted. I got distracted so many times being independent. No I doubt. really hate it. No doubt. Because it's because I was so spoiled. Yeah. I've been... You know, platinum yeah, four gold exactly. albums. And After we lost that one hundred eight thousand on our first tour, you have to have mm-hmm. you have to have the balls and the get up to say we're gonna do it again. Do it again. Yeah, mm-hmm. because after you lose that much money, you be like, I ain't about to do that again. <clears throat> Tour buses and all that kind of mm-hmm. shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And now we mm-hmm. go out with so many tour buses. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a beautiful now it's thing. That's normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But well, we want to thank y'all. I want to thank y'all for getting me form. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. Hey, by the way, I still have my purge at. He's double, <laughs> He's double fisted still, over there. And I still have my. And I'll, I'll finish these too. And we got two more. It's okay. Yes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Chichi. Chichi, get the yayo. Get the yayo, Chichi. <laughs> what was so that? listen, <laughs> it's just our Puerto Rican Cuban shit. That's what Puerto we do. That we do. Man, but listen, man, listen. drink champs. We are uh, for the culture and by the culture. We the new Fubu. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the Arabian Rock Camera podcasting. And the Arabian Rock Camera podcasting. Mm-hmm. A DJ, an MC got together, and we wanted to celebrate our culture. The thing about our thing is, we don't p- bring people here and try to take them down. We get fun with them. We have fun with them. Right. But at the end of the day, our thing is about bigging up legends and can making people continue to to, 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 to to fuck with our people. Exactly. Because, you know, they got Motley Crue and they got Entertainment Tonight and they got all this. And yeah. I always thought, like, where the fuck, where's our shit? Exactly. And then EFN thought, where's our shit? And we said, we already making it. Exactly. This is what it is. This is a live source magazine. No doubt. You get five mics right here. <laughs> you know, if in you real got, time. If in you real got time. In mics. real time. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And we're going to continue because, you know, so many people hit me when we did these interviews and say, my shit is charting again and that shit. But that's not what we're doing it for. We're doing it because we sincerely believe in you. Please. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. You understand? Yes, sir. We sincerely believe in you. <laughs> so that's what we continue to do. Yeah. We continue to big up our legends. Mayday. We love you. Wonderful show. We wish you everything. I wish I could be here. I'm going on a fucking wish train. <laughs> <laughs> like no. he's on the phone right now. Hey, so, hey, wait, you know what, man? Before we get out of here, thank you also. Because you've helped Mayday as well. You I know, Mayday's my name. Yeah, 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 so thank you, man. That's real shit. So, yeah, that's real shit.
And Who's thank you, Tech, nigga. as well. Tech is my thank nigga. You. Thank tech, you. Um, I just, I would like to bring you to this other, like, form of life. What I mean by that is, you know, I'm sure you've sure seen it all. But so many people that I know mm -hmm. that are artists struggling on majors, mm -hmm. and they just don't know the other outlet. Yeah. They don't know it. The thing is, you can't call them stupid, you can't call them dumb, you can't call them nothing. Because they just don't know. They just feel like, all right, cool, I'll make a record, I'll give it to such and such, Tommy Swassable as well. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. Tommy Swassable as well. That guy's an asshole. They don't, you know, Tommy Swassable as well. And Tommy Swassable as well. Gives it to yeah. gives He gives it to <laughs> He gives it to Emoji I mean, yeah, yeah. That guy's I need Emoji yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they say Damn my shit ain't work The thing is You just hire and hire help You're not having a whole structure Yeah To see why it works A family And the thing is Me looking from the outside in I know that's what it is And the thing is We have to spread that Yes That's what the thing is Drink champs We gotta help each other Help each other No doubt We need each so other So if you got the the mastermind to being independent, I think that it's not only up and coming artists that mm -hmm. should come and see strange music, but it's also established artists. Oh yeah, people that's legends and people that you respect. No doubt, brother Lynch. We, start, we signed brother Lynch on. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. We signed Murs. Mm -hmm. You know some people we listened to for years. You know this what, what I'm saying? trying to say. We yeah. gotta continue that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you have the method to the madness, let's come over here. We be fair with you, because this is what we. This is. What we preaching, correct? Mm -hmm. And it should come to you. Why should there be these other independent? I don't want to name no names because I yeah. got it right here. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> and I don't want to name them. Please do yeah, not yeah. do not uh, name no, a no, syllable no, near no. them. Exactly. Because I'm out of the Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but this is what I'm saying. Like, we got to keep, keep. We got to keep. You know. Uh, representing that yeah. That if there's a If there's a person And it, I was gonna say a, a, a Black man But I don't wanna say that If there's a, a Healthy entrepreneur Yeah That has the method To winning And there's other people Who have the method To winning To win mm -hmm. They should be Referred in your direction Am I bugging? No doubt no, You're absolutely correct bro Yeah Hobson came our way You know what I'm saying Before he yeah. figured out That he could do it his own mm. You know what I'm saying Um did you almost mess with Goody, Goody Mob? I could have swore Goody Mob was going to strange at one point. Yeah, they they made some statements like they wanted to. Right. You know, saying they were interested in coming to strange, but it never did materialize. Right, right. You right. know what I mean? A lot of people come our way. You know what I'm saying? But it, it has to be one thousand, though. You know what I'm saying? 1, what you 000. mean by that? It has to be good, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's not, you know, everybody we have on the label is because we love their music. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We ain't just put motherfuckers on, just be putting motherfuckers on. Right. You know what I'm saying? Can't be just the name. No. They have to be doing the yeah. product at the same time. Yeah, so right yeah, now, yeah. the hottest artist from Bubblefuck. People, people, Kalamazoo. people been telling me to sign XXX Tentacion or something. Whoa. Extension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you say his That's name? That's a good move. Yeah. That's a good move. Right. It's Tentacion. It's Tentacion. It's Tentacion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, in yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's, is. He's from, yeah, um, he's from Miami. Uh, Vanessa, Vanessa from. Uh, Double XL said, you need to sign this kid. You need to sign this kid. And she turned me on to him because I'm, I'm in my own world. I heard about him and I heard about the funk he's having and all that kind of shit. Only thing I don't like, I don't want to, he got to stop <coughs> dissing Drake. Other than that? He got to stop dissing Drake? Dissing Drake. Oh, That's yeah, it. yeah. Other yeah. than that, I think <coughs> Stack Sean is a star. Oh, yeah. He, he, you know, if he realized that he ain't got to diss nobody to get his motherfucking, you money. know what I'm saying, flow right. on, mm -hmm. money, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you ain't got to do that shit. Yeah. Then I think about that That's a perfect fucking fit Yeah For strange music Yeah I mean that's what she said And the little Yeah yeah she said yeah, yeah. So I told her I'm looking into it I told her glasses I told So you know I'm But I've been seeing him With Gazi <laughs> lately So yeah, maybe, maybe Maybe this Oh you've seen him You've seen him as an empire Gazi yeah, 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 It's yeah, my yeah. man Yeah yeah All man. day Me too But so. maybe, maybe Maybe that's what it is Everybody partner up Because That's that's the thing That I got from 444 album Right And I hate to keep bringing it up, but that's, I love that album. That's mm -hmm. an amazing album. Because what he's preaching is, why should I compete with you when I can eat with you? Exactly. And he's preaching maturity, number no one, doubt. which hip hop needs. No which doubt. hip hop needs. To be mature. So, no doubt. So you know the thing about it is, maybe Gazi got him on the radio. Yeah. But maybe 
guys you don't got him on that tour circuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of us play a part. Play a part. That's yeah, yeah, be- yeah, that's yeah. a beautiful thing. Like yeah. to me, that's what hip hop is missing. No doubt. Is you know what I, I, you know, one day. All right, fuck it. I'll tell the story. <laughs> <laughs> One day I go to Vegas, right? Mm-hmm. So I got I got niggas, you know, handling my business. I don't, I know them, but you know, I don't really. So they're like, "Yo, Scarface wants to go last." Oh, uh, I've been through that. And I'm, my people is like, "Nah, Maury's <laughs> going last." <laughs> I'm in Las Vegas. Yeah. What was wrong? With me not saying, relax. <laughs> That's Scarface. Girl. To yourself. You saying relax to yourself? No, or to I'm your just people? high. <clears throat> dude. This, is, this is ecstasy days. Oh, yeah, yeah. You was walling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is ecstasy days. So I'm like. I got a story like that. So they say some shit. And I should have said, no, no, no. Let Scarface go last. Mm-hmm. But. I'm not, uh, uh, you sure? All right, cool, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga can't, no artists come on at the Mary, 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 Mary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying, Mary Jane, Mary, Mary. You can't, nigga, you can't come on after that. Yeah. Buster Rounds might say, oh, you gotta relax. Shit, all you gotta do is say, what, 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 no. what, 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 what? No, I let that motherfucker cool off. Yeah. I said, Scarface. <laughs> I said, who set this up? <laughs> who set this up? <laughs> You're an asshole. Whose idea was this? <laughs> <laughs> Some nigga came to me and said, and I said, word up. And then he came back to me, you a foul nigga. <laughs> but this is what I'm trying to say. So how do you, you go worldwide and you don't give a fuck wherever you at? Mm-hmm. No, but that's because you are the headliner. Yeah. Let's keep it real. You no had doubt. a story like man's. Let's no get doubt. into yours. Keisha Cole. Mm. Keisha Cole bodied you? No. Nah. She, you she, say she's gonna bother you. She just, nah, she, chance. No, no, Nobody no, no, don't no. watch this shit. She just wasn't about to have go <laughs> on from some nigga in Kansas City. Like, okay, she's the queen. She ain't, about to, she ain't about to go on before no nigga. Okay. But so it's my happened? town, and I wasn't tripping, you know what I'm saying? Right. I was like, shit, if she want to go on, let her. You know what I'm saying? After me, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I didn't give a fuck, but I seen it. I was like, she said, and I went through that with Rockham. I went through that with, um, uh, I went through what? You gotta describe what you Like, said. motherfuckers didn't want to go on without me. But they didn't want before to be me. the headliner. Yeah, oh, yeah, be- yeah, yeah, yeah. Before. Before me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But Keisha Cole was the hardest because, you know, my mom was there and she wanted to hear her. Oh, wow. Sing, you know what I'm saying? So, what happened? Just describe so, the, 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 so, you done a lot. So, I gave her the slot, but the slot where she was supposed to play was just an empty stage, and everybody just had to wait for that 45 to hour, you know what I'm saying, the, pot, the spot she was supposed to play. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And then I went on after that and gave her hers after that, you know what I'm saying? And then the security tried to push us out, and I'm like, nigga, no, we're not moving. Fuck that. My mom want to see Keisha Cole. Go get your boss. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> Even though she tried to pull rank, you know what I'm saying? But wow. it was cool, you know what I'm saying? It was nothing. Uh, it was are my they trying to kick you out? Yeah, like, you got to get off the stage. I'm like, no, no, I don't. This is my mom right there in the chair. No, we're not, we're not moving. <laughs> I gave up my spot mm-hmm. for her. I'm uh-huh. not giving up my mom's spot. Sorry, uh-huh. fuck y'all. Uh-huh. Tech, we know who you are. We know who you are. No, I don't give a fuck about Tech Night right now. No, nigga, this, I'm talking about my mom. Move. Uh-huh. Move, just move out of my way. So I'm wrong, you know what I'm saying? No, you are not I'm wrong. Let's make some right. noise with Tech Mom yeah. and Mother's Day. We got gifts, we got gifts, we got gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is it? Drink Champ shirt, Drink Champ's cup. Oh, Ooh. hell yeah. I'm wearing this shit. Yeah, That's why y'all call Nats for my size. That's tight. That's tight. Boom. Boom. We gave two sizes just in case. I don't know. Oh yeah, we got shit in here, Holmes. Mm. Bang. Yeah, yeah, it's been album, goddammit. You gotta you gotta listen to Zang. that. Bang. Yeah. Um. Where's Shot Glass? Shot Glass? No Shot Glass. Man. Hey, this is going down to my bar, yeah, man. Hit that. You gotta take a smoke. <laughs> no, I already smoked last week. <laughs> Yo, Rick, you ain't gonna take a smoke because he ain't finna take a shot glass. Alright, so listen, I, I need either. to understand. I smoked I need to understand how did this I thing come up. 
What, what happened? Was you, like, you woke up drunk in Cheeseburger what Baby? What did you ask him? <laughs> what, did you, what did you ask him? I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fetch this question right now. No, what how did you, you and your wife mean? Oh, oh Just okay. Saying, yo, I got, you know what? So, I, got twi- I got twins on the way. It's my first kids. Oh, shit. You, oh, you trying to compete with Con. Yeah, in the Damn. I, I guess. I mean, oh. it wasn't on purpose, but we got twins okay. on the way. And mm. I figured for the first time ever in my life, I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go clean. I'm going to go dry, sober. It for, was you on your own. Yeah, yeah. I definitely don't believe you at all. No, no, no. My wife never Never first oh, okay, no, she's a G. But, but be she, honest, but she I challenged first, me. I first saw the pregnancy. You did, you did. You were the first one to call it. Actually, we had dinner and, and we 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 met up at a. Um, what's, this, what's this spot? Aoki. Dayland? Yeah, Aoki's. And you were like, yo, let's, let's. Actually, I was drinking still then. I hadn't decided because it, it, it took me a little while to be like, am I going to do this? Am I going to commit to this? You know? Right. Like, she, I knew she was pregnant that night. I was drinking. She wasn't drinking. And then she said, nah, I'm not drinking. I got a headache. And he's like, or you're pregnant. I was like, <laughs> god damn. <laughs> like, right out the gate, EFN, like, chill. Or you're <laughs> like, pregnant. I could tell if someone's not drinking, there's a problem. <laughs> yeah, you called it. You were the first one to call it. So, are you pregnant too? Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not drinking. I know, you gave me the alley oop. You gave and you looked at me too. You looked at me like, look at what is he? Somebody's pregnant? not drinking. He needs to be artificially no, inseminated. No, 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 no but, but for real. So, you feel like if you drink, it messes up your wife? That's no, not, no, no, not no, solidarity. I just, I just figured, look, I, I, like, my family's British, right? So, we I, drinking is in my, my blood. My family's British. You know what I'm saying? So, you <laughs> drink like you're British. Find right? out. In my mind. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, so that's you know that's where you're drinking. That's where your love for drinking comes from because mm. that's what we do in England. You drink socially. It's just like we drink you, pints, you, mate. All oh, yeah, you drink a pint. You like it's mate. Is mate? Is that? That's like pints. It's a pint. Yeah, 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 exactly. And mate is, is Australia. Goddamn. Mix it so, together. He's so a piker. I love. I do love to drink. So when when I figured I was gonna. If I was ever gonna be able to go a little bit without drinking, because I do, I've been drinking, you know, since I started drinking, and you know, I've been drinking for whatever ten plus years, easy. And um, I figured the only way for me to maybe take a real detox was to tie it to something that was as monumental as like the birth of my first kids, you know, and the twins mm-hmm. that I got on the way. So I figured I'm gonna tie it to that, and then I'm yeah, I'm gonna pray for the best because I'm three months in now, so I got six months left. Respect, you know. Respect. Respect. And then I'm back with a vengeance. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> well, we drunk and high enough for him, dude. We drink it for six kids. I just realized yeah, as yeah. I was telling y'all this, I'm telling this, this to a table full of drunk people and shit. But that's okay. <laughs> Respect. Listen, man. I got six kids. Damn. Through every pregnancy for all six kids. Uh, I know what you're about to say. <laughs> I win! <laughs> <laughs> Right now, right? Really, I'm not clapping for listen, you right now. Listen, it's okay, man. You're the only one that did. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I mean, but listen, man. Hello. Strange music. Mayday. And my brother right here. Noms. That Noms. is Mayday. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday right here. Noms. Burns. Listen, recognize. But we got more we champagne. Are. Shout right, out to Plex. Gio. Even T. What, what up, T? What up, T? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we got more. Listen, man. Them hip hop. We don't have enough of hip hop celebrating hip hop. So instead of me and my partner, DJ EFN, sitting around and complaining and saying, Which we why don't did people a lot. hip? Yeah. Why don't people sit around and, you know, you know, salute Naughty by Nature and KRS One and, yeah. you know, and uh, Nas or Jay or Mob T? We didn't want to sit around and complain about that shit. You know what we wanted to do? We wanted to do the exact opposite. Yeah, and just fucking sit around and and we here we are. <laughs> show them respect. So Tech Nine, if you never heard it, if you did hear it, you're gonna hear it again. You're a motherfucking legend. Thank, Thank you, bro. We appreciate what you do for hip hop. We appreciate Thank what you. you set out for hip hop for everybody. That if you want to be independent, there's a whole fucking a real platform. Blueprint. There's a whole fucking yes, blueprint. There's a whole fucking format. We want to thank you for that. We want to thank you for taking Mayday and making them an international group. This is our local Miami family. And you sitting there making them. We want to thank you for that. And we want to thank you for being motherfucking Tech Nine. All day, brother. Tech Nine! We on Revolt TV. Revolt. I ain't gonna lie, I smoke like 10, I smoke like 10 or 11 blunts, right? You're looking yeah. like a blunt right now. Did we do Fragile on Revolt? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You wanna drink some more champagne? I feel like you wanna drink some more champagne. I feel like you wanna drink some more champagne. Not the, not the, not the uh, Jouet, huh? Okay, I got, I got more wet. Oh, and I got, um, what you call it? I was just saying it's time for the picture. 
Is this your goal? <laughs> oh, I gotta go? We gotta take a picture, Hassan. <laughs> yes. oh, we gotta take a picture. Yeah, 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 we gotta take a picture. Okay, okay. Let's, right, go. let's go. Come on, come on, come on, guys. All right. Make some noise! Chi chi yeah yo. Chi 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 ga da 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 yeah yo. Chi chi.